pain. Pain and suffering. That is what this next hour of streaming will be. Ah, uh, yes. My favorite class of vehicle. Slow. Armor dependent. Iffy gun. The T110E3. Yay. I hope you guys are excited. This will be maybe entertaining or maybe miserable stream for the next <laughs> hour and a half or so. Uh, anyways, hello to everybody in chat. Great seeing you here today. Welcome to another stream. There's Royal Fatness here, although you guys probably already know that. And today, I am going to be covering the T-123, which did get some new visuals, as you can see. Tank is now PBR. Or maybe you can't see because the garage is, like, too dim. Can't see anything in these garages, I swear. Um, and along with the new graphics... Sorry, a piece of Bobby's fur just got in my eye. Along with these new graphics came changes to the armor profile. Some could argue better... I think a lot would argue worse. And so, I'm here to see, is the E3 better or worse? And how does it play? And yeah, what can you do to hopefully do well in it? Although maybe you shouldn't take my word because I am definitely not an E3 connoisseur. I probably still play better than the majority of the player base, but still not my cup of tea. But with that out of the way, let's discuss the T1 to E3. Okay, so you got PBR textures. Yay, tank looks cool. I'm going to talk about the armor last. So what do you need to know mostly about its characteristics that didn't change? 2,000 hit points, pretty good. It has 2850 DPM, which is actually okay for tank destroyers. A 14 second reload and with that 680 alpha damage. So if you're familiar with the 100's gun, it's fairly similar. Just it actually has DPM. Yay! 285 base AP pen is actually quite nice, and 375 on the APCR is good as well. So, penetration wise, it's fine. DPM wise, it's fine. Alpha wise, it's fine. The accuracy, uh, it does the job at close ranges, but I'm not a big fan. It is quite derpy, which is to be expected. It has a boatload of frontal armor, and it has eight degrees of gun depression, and it's slow. So, it's probably not going to have the most accurate gun in the world, but. The gun trolls me a little bit more than I like in terms of its accuracy. I think I've just grown to kind of expect that. But yeah, the gun's okay. It hits hard. I personally preferred the old 640 Alpha gun, which was much more accurate and just felt more comfortable on the tank. This one certainly hits harder, but it doesn't hit as often. And that's problematic. Okay, let's move on to mobility. Whoa, 34 top speed, 10 in reverse. Yikes, 10 reverse speed is pretty nasty. And it has 35 degrees of traverse. Now it has no turret, so that is your absolute traverse 35 degrees it's okay there's been worse tds out there with um in terms of traverse speed but uh 34 top speed sounds great but it's it's pretty slow without its speed boost thanks to it's kind of not the highest power to weight ratio of 13.7 and uh yeah it's a it's a fairly heavy tank so mobility is a little bit meh it can get around. Fortunately, it does have the improved engine boost. So, yay, you can activate that in times of need. But you have to kind of rely on it, especially if you need to chase something down. You need to get to a position quickly. You need to reverse out of a scenario quickly. This will help you a lot because, you know, um, you get to go 10 kilometers an hour faster in reverse. So that's helpful, especially if you need to get away. Now, E3 has terrible drive wheels and no turret, so I would recommend running double repair. Just sacrifice either adrenaline or speed boost. Choose your poison. I chose speed boost because I think it's more beneficial to get in and out of scenarios faster, personally. I used to run single repair, but you know, nowadays with tanks having crazy reloads and DPM, I prefer not to do that. Okay, so let's talk armor. What improved? This little hatch here. Yeah, yeah, this little hatch right there. It is no longer HEable, as far as I'm aware. That's kind of crazy because that was like a secret little little hack that you used to know back in the day. When you could pen the front little flat portion of the hatch with high explosive ammunition in most 150 millimeter or above caliber guns. I've done some really nasty things to T123s with that. That's no longer a concern. As a matter of fact, the hatch is practically unpenable. So yeah, enjoy. That's no longer really a weak spot. The main hatch on top of the tank, it's 
Seems about the same. Maybe it's slightly improved. It still gets overmatched by premium heat shells and most premium APCR shells and stuff like that that are of enough penetration. I think you need about 330 or so or more to pen it. And yeah, tanks, tanks can still pen the hatch, especially if they hit near the base of it and not near the top side. So do watch out. Even though you're haul down beast of a vehicle, it can still... Hi, Bobby. It can still get pent through there. And I even had a Jagd Panzer E100 at the back of mines launch an AP shell at my tank and pen it through the dead center of the hatch, right where the spaced armor should be located with that gun. And it still went right through and dealt 750 damage. So it's not impervious, but it's still pretty troll and a lot of players choose not to shoot at it. Oh boy. So let's talk about the bad. Come on, buddy. Come on to my lap. All right. Lower plate. Now, I don't know how many of you guys remember the good old E3, but back in the day, the E3's lower plate was exceedingly troll. I hate this tanks hate are becoming, tanks less, are becoming unique. less unique. Thank you, Doc Clyde. Thank you very much for the donation. I think we still have quite a few unique tanks, but maybe a few have become a little more generic, but uh, yeah, we still have some unique tanks out there, right? Um, the lower plate became larger. I mean, just look at the size of things. The penable region. Bobby oh, almost fell off the desk, you silly cat. Um, the, the whole penable region on the lower plate became larger, and I don't know if it's due to a change in how the armor is angled or an actual change in the thickness of the lower plate, but it lost a lot of its troll capabilities. Now, before this update, you could pull up to a T110E3 and a T62A. And you stare at it frontally, the lower plate looks like it could be penable, and you shoot and you would bounce almost every shot unless you hit the corners. Like, the middle of the lower plate was very, very troll. Exceedingly troll. Even, like, uh, oh, especially tanks like maybe a 113, a 60 TP with APCR standard, they struggled to pen it. Not anymore. As a matter of fact, in the 20 or so games I've played in this tank since it got PBR, I really wanted to test out its armor, I don't think I have ricocheted a single shot off of the lower plate. And that includes medium tanks and light tanks staring at it from not just flat, but slightly elevated positions. Its lower plate basically got wrecked. At least that's my opinion. And that's a big problem because that was one of the kind of secrets that made the E3 good is when you could counter angle the hull down slightly and make that lower plate almost unpenable and just die wiggling back and forth. It does not seem to be quite as effective at that anymore. And so I'm a little bit molded at its armor profile, especially the lower plate, as I loved trolling people. And I, I would get trolled with it all the time myself. I'm like, oh, I can pen this lower plate with AP. Oh, no, nope, ricochet. It doesn't happen anymore, like ever. Maybe, maybe in some weird scenarios, but the lower plate definitely received a nerf and the drive wheels are still exceedingly weak. You cannot angle this tank. Not even this much. I would say this much of an angle, so your tank looking straight on it, this much of an angle is a pen through the track and the lower plate. So you have to be facing them frontally and you have to be hold on to make the armor work. And it's slow. And so that means this tank is just very, very team dependent in a very fast meta with a lot of very fast vehicles that have high DPM and short reloads. It can be a bit of a pain. I'm not a huge fan of this tank. I'm going to be honest with you. It's probably my bottom five tanks that I'd like to go and play in tier 10. I'm going to keep it straight. It still has its moments where it's very fun and very good, especially if you get to a saucy hold on position against people that are not going to be pinning your hatch. But for the most part, I think the armor profile took an L. I'm going to be honest. I would have rather had the HE hatch and the old lower plate because this one just ain't cooking as much as it used to. But with that out of the way, let's just jump into some games, yeah? Let's let's get some battles in. Let's showcase the T1 to E3. It still has its moments where it's a great tank. And just because I am not really a connoisseur of slow heavies and TDs doesn't mean you won't be. My play style is generally very determined by fast positioning, fast rotations, and fast DPM. Can't really do that in this tank. So maybe if you are very good in the slower heavy tank class, you actually still really enjoy the E3. But let's begin. Let's begin. All right, first game, we're on Rockfield. Not a bad map, there's a lot of hold on capabilities. I'm just gonna jump straight to the speed boost in order to get to positioning nice and quickly. Enemy team has triple tank destroyers, a BZ, a 113, RK, um, M46 Patton, and an AMX-5120. So they don't really have the strongest lineup, I'm gonna be honest. The 113 could be a little problematic with its 345 heat, but as long as I get to a nice good hold on position quickly, we should be okay. And even with speed boost, I did not manage to overtake this D110E4. This is so sad. Okay. Let's see, 405 spotting aggro, 113 crossing ditch, AMX crossing late. They could have TDs up there. That's always a threat you have to be aware of. So 
I'm gonna pull up here to get a quick shot towards this AMX, and oh boy, there's that accuracy. Maybe I just shouldn't have fired, but actually he didn't commit, so we might be okay here. I'm gonna pull back up into this bush in preparation. We're gonna wait to see if this AMX crosses in front of me, and when he does, or if he does, we'll take advantage of that opportunity to shoot at him. I'm looking at the right side, and they have two tanks in the corner. One tank pushed pretty aggressively up the mid here. And a T124 right in front of me, so that's interesting. Let's put a quick shell towards this E4, and yeah, sadly wasn't quite, didn't quite have an angle on him there. I'm thinking now, E4, 1E3, all those tanks are kind of out of position. My teammates are, I could have a crossfire back there, but I'm low-key thinking maybe I should rotate back this way to help my allies out on this end, just slightly, because they are definitely going to get overmatched here, and I want to see if I can crossfire at the crossing. Unfortunately, this means I will not be hauled down. I'm just gonna do what I can. All right, one quick shot into the AMX. There we go. A nice 770 high roll. The gun definitely does its job quite well when it comes to alpha damage. For the most part, it rolls pretty, pretty hard. So that's good. Now, my corner is definitely gonna fall. I don't think there's anything I can do to really prevent that unless I were to push into the corner myself. So, you know what? I'm just gonna take a holding position here. My flank is safe. I can get haul down on this ridge line here. Hopefully, we can clear out this 113 if our AMX doesn't get himself killed. There we go. That was a very viable clear, in my opinion, taking that 113 out of the game because he would have been annoying with his turret armor and everything. And now I should be okay to kind of just keep holding this corner. There is the BZ. We're going to aim a nice shot into the front of his... Okay, never mind. He's driving way too sporadically for me to do that. I guess my shooting is just big suck right now. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. We're still doing all right, though. My team has a decent amount of flanks and crossfires here. I'm going to pull forward a little bit on this BZ here. All right, there is Mr. BZ. Let's aim it for that lower plate. There we go. Another 720 roll. I mean, yeah, in terms of alpha damage, this tank definitely can slap. And I am playing quite passively. That's because you don't want to overextend in this vehicle. It is a recipe to quickly cease existing. Uh, this dude's about to get wrecked up the rear by E4, so I'll put a quick shell into him here. He gets taken out. And let's pop that sped boost and see if we can capture this grill off guard. Now, one thing the E3 that has that's very good is quite high alpha on its high explosive shells. As a matter of fact, his max roll is 1275. So, hello, Mr. Gorilla15. What's in for that engine deck? Eh? Is that not my hit marker? Well, we ram killed him. Um, eh? Dude, I'm telling you, this gun's accuracy, it trolls so much. It trolls so much. What? That was like almost completely aimed in on his engine deck there. I know I shot a little bit on the move, but I genuinely didn't think that that would hit so low down. Uh, maybe I should have just paused and aimed in for an extra second. But, you know, eh, 2.7k damage. It is what it is. I find myself not farming too much in this tank. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, or 2.9, because I got the ram. So just under 3k. E4 did excellent work clearing, and you know what? In retrospect, maybe it would have been better for me just to turn left, clear the 183, clear the AMX, clear what other tank was, the E4 that was back there. That might have actually been a, a smarter plan, but at the same time, I was thinking more about kind of map control. We had a few tanks covering that side, and we were about to lose our spawn side. So that's why I decided just to sit back and hold against the 113 and the WZ, um, or the BZ, sorry, the BZ, uh, which worked okay, but I didn't farm from it. Good job to the E4, though. Dude cooked up. So which, do you, which one is better, T124 or T123? I prefer the T124, mostly because it's faster, has better traverse, has a turret, and I'm gonna be honest, the E4's armor is, like, nowadays almost identical, like, straight up. It has such a tiny hatch and such a fr strong frontal turret profile that it, it feels like it's okay. Um, I don't usually go left here, but let's see if I can get some assistance here. But as long as the TVP wakes up and comes with, we'll be okay. I don't want to lose the med side. That's the fastest way to lose on this map. And we have a lot of very solid heavy tanks. I think they'll be okay for now. Okay, maybe I shouldn't look at the heavy tanks while driving. I think they'll be okay on the heavy side, but if our med side falls, that's going to be basically crossfires galore and almost guaranteed loss. So I'm just going to go play defense over on med side, hopefully t with a degree of success. Now, I did get spotted by the 30B there. It is what it is. And they also have an M48 Patton here. Alrighty, Mr. Patton doesn't quite have a shot on me yet, I think. Yes, it does not appear he does. Uh, and there's not too much I can do right now. I can just chill back here, I guess, if I want. My goal right now is, is definitely, you know, holding. And look at that angle. I know, I know it's angled up, but see how high that pen pens. The old E3, that would have almost guaranteed been kind of a ricochet. So, 
you can definitely see the difference now in the E3's armor. Now, I was angled up, but still, if I was flat ground, he probably still would have pinned that as well. And that's that's just where, where a lot of the issues lie in this tank. And as you can see, the gun is doing me absolutely no favors here. It's not able to hit anything so far. And But I'm going to keep holding here. I'm playing defense. I'm playing for a win here. I'm not playing to farm damage per se, just to hold here and keep my allies from getting flanked while they hopefully do okay on the heavy side. I'm not sure if they will. All right, this patent's definitely going to poke up again. There we go. All right, 640 damage is the patent. And also, it looks like one of our tank destroyers, the 183, nuked the 30B there. Excellent play by the 183. Good job hitting that nuke. And me and the 30B could theoretically push up on this side here. I'm going to see if I can encourage our man to play a little more aggro. It appears he does not want to. Our TVP needs to reload. Then we can just clip one of these tanks out and kill them instantly. My heavy side is okay. Our 183, unfortunately, did get taken out there. And let's see what this TVP is up to. There's the TVP. Let's see if this pan pokes me again. If I can just get, make the pan a one shot, we'll be okay. Oh my gosh, the TVP is farming. Okay, 268's down. I love playing defense. All right, 650. Look, flat ground, AP shell once again. I'm telling you, old E3 would not be getting AP pen from that angle on basically flat ground there. Because there, I wasn't even really angled up at all. So, yeah. I don't know how I feel about it, Chief. I, I genuinely don't know how I feel about it. What I do feel is that me and this TVP should get ready to YOLO together. All right, let's see. I should be unspotted now. Uh, the TVP is just going to go from the 183. Well, we're going to win this game, it appears. Maybe I can get a shot into the 183. Aiming, 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 aiming. Fire. Nice. 726 damage dealt. So, not the highest damage game. That's that's for sure. But once again, my priority here was to prevent my team from losing the side. And because they did not lose the side, we actually were able to pretty comfortably play heavy side, which was kind of my goal in making this rotation here. There's the 30B. He does get a nice little ricochet on me. Good stuff. I am going to maybe pull back a little bit. I can't really chase down a 30B right now. It's a complete waste of time. Oh, aim, aim, aim. Nice. Oh my gosh, that went top of the reticle. That hit the very top of his hatch. Okay, that puts me at 2,700 damage. Delt TVP is finally pushing forward. And now we can get to see if I can get a nice shot into this 1A3 when he's spotted up. Let's see. Please, 1A3P, like right there when you do get spotted. I, I, I would, it would just be so kind of you if you could give me that nice shot. A lot of baby CR for the faster shell velocity. Come on, 1A3. Come on, where are you at, little dude? Where are you at? Oh, that's such a rat position. No, why? Why there? Oh, if I was angled a little bit more to the left. Okay, I missed on my 3K. It's okay. We got the dub. I did my job. It wasn't a very fun job, but just, just from my experience playing on that map, it was a no-brainer for me to try and support our TVP there, and I did okay. Shout out to the mouse and shout out to the 100. They both did great on heavy side. I was I had some faith that the concept of 100 and mouse to be able to hold off pretty well against a Yale 57. Surprised the Kron did so poorly, and um, yeah, my TVP wasn't the best. But hey, you just need a couple players to just prevent that side from collapsing, and your odds of winning will be significantly increased. If I just gone the farm mid. I probably would have had more damage, but I guarantee the TVP would not have gone left with me not going there. And then we would have had an AMX 30B with 3,500 DPM and an M48 Patton with 3,400 DPM sitting behind my team, farming out our TDs, getting them spotted, and it could have just been a very fast game over. So I, I made that play to try and get my team to win, and it actually worked out. Hooray, hurrah. Sorry that game was so boring, guys, but you gotta do sometimes the not-so-fun maneuvers to win. E4 is good, dude. The T30 and the tech tree line. Oh, dude, T30 is goaded. And uh, E4 is still very, very good. Actually, my only real complaint with the T110 E4 is its APCR base, which is not very saucy. I mean, it's high pen APCR, but it's still APCR, and it's still going to have lots of instances where you just randomly randomly ricochet shots off of armor angles you shouldn't or like an is7 pulls out sideways to you and its pike nose is still red and you're like how um but otherwise the e1 t124 would be pretty much a perfect tier 10 uh heavy tank destroyer is what i would describe it as but yeah let's move to the next game we're cruising along and i'm gonna try and get to the ramps nice and quickly here the enemy team do have three heavy tanks and two relatively heavy tank destroyers as well. So I wouldn't be all that surprised if their team actually ended up going this way. But first, let's try and spot up the ramps here. Alrighty, so I'm just going to wait to see if anyone crosses this end. So far, no one's crossed it. Well, other than a Kranwagen who's just going to sit here, I guess. Uh, the Kranwagen got stuck. I didn't expect him to cross in such a bad manner. All right, there we go. Side of a Kran. Nice, 685 damage into him. Yeah, the Kran is not thinking very straight right now. Um... Kran dead. Kran big dead. 
Yeah, yeah, Kran, Kran, big dead. Big, 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 big dead. Let's see if I can get one more shot into Mr. Kran. No shots into Mr. Kran, Sag. Kran's still big dead. Um, Kran? For real? Kran? Okay, they have a VK on the other side. I'm gonna see if I can pump a kill shot into this Kran wagon here. Maybe with an APCR shell. That probably would have killed him, but the grill snuck the kill shot in before me. Okay. <sighs> Let's see. Sheridan on the flank with the TVP. We got a Jaeger in front of us somewhere, which I don't know if I have shots on. He could be behind the rock, or he could just be in front of me. I think I'll get ready to start pressuring the side a bit. Okay, that is a Yag in the open. And my team have already cleared out the enemies 268. Poor Kron. I think he was trying to rotate out once he realized he didn't have any help. Uh, but obviously he wasn't quite fast enough. Alright, here's Mr. Jaeger. Let's aim this in nice and thoroughly. 640 damage into him. Good stuff. And I'm just gonna pull in a little bit here to make sure the Yag doesn't get a nice little side shot on me here. Which he doesn't. Hopefully the Yag dies. Because I'm gonna do a damage greedy play here. Maybe, maybe, maybe it'll pay off. Maybe it won't. Alright, Mr. IS-7 is haul down. Let's pop that sped boost and just continue the pressure forward here. He probably will... Oh, nope. He actually bounces off me. Let's go. W. And there's still a TVP in the corner, which I should be very wary of. Ooh, there's a whole re. Let's put... Wow, I have, like, low-rolled every single shot this game. Okay, that's that's fine. All right, Mr. TVP. Let's see if this TVP can pen me on flat. And he does, right through that lower plate there. You know what, TVP? I don't mind. Let, let, let's be friends. I gotta shoot this I-7. Finally, a high roll. Let's go. Alrighty. Now I also have a VK-72 problem behind me, so I'm gonna worry about that. And you know what, Mr. I-7, you can do whatever you want. I don't really mind too much here. Let's pick up a player on him, actually. Lovely. Now the max will load it up. And we should win this game pretty easily. It was a pretty sweepy game. I'll probably not even get an extra shot out, to be honest, by the time this VK-72 is dead here. Yeah, VK-72, big dead, I think. He is very big dead. Maybe I should have shot the VK for the damage. Bit of a sweep game there, so I can't really say too much about it. Just maybe just push out a little bit late. I could have probably pushed in sooner, but I didn't want to overextend without knowing 100% what their team is doing. But, like, we're winning, and I'm doing okay, but I'm not doing, like, 35, 30, 36, 3700 average damage, which is what I used to be able to do around 3800 damage in the E4. Now it's kind of struggling to even just consistently pull 3k. Or E3, sorry, not E4. E3. Did it? I played five games on a year earlier. <laughs> Bad luck, maybe? Oof. Uh, need Minnow Stream. Uh, maybe eventually. I'm not a huge fan of the Minotaro either. It, you, you guys know me. Slow, big old slow tank destroyer is not my cup of tea. Uh, I like the fast ones, though. Like, the, the 268 I like a lot. And heck, I even low-key like the grill. It's not quite as good as the old one, but I do low-key kind of like the grill. All right. In theory, this is a good map, but that is only if my team manages to prevent the bat shot and the Carol from taking hill. If we lose hill... It's kind of Jover for us. So let's see. We should hopefully not lose hill here, judging by the slow Caro movements. Hey, Bobby, what you doing? Um, and now I should be able to go hold down on the hill and hopefully have a good time. I just have to cross over to my good old fashioned hold down position here, which I did manage to get to. Yay. And let's see what we can do from here. All right. There is a 60 TP. There's an E100. I'm just going to shoot APCR at the E100 there. Do manage to block a 1020 Alpha HE shell right on the mantlet. That was um, an interesting shot by the E100, I will admit. And the 60 TP get a little aggro, but this should in theory be a pretty good spot for me. And I think the E3 got hatch sniped here by someone. Now let's go check out that lower plate. Ooh, it's massive. All right, 666 damage into him. The E1 is just spamming HE at me. 60 TP probably will be able to pen my lower plate as well, unless I can back up in time, which I do. Let's go. And I think this E100 is just going to be a certified HE spammer, which is kind of annoying as I'll be bleeding out HP each time I poke here. Unless I can block it on my gun, which I which I unfortunately do not. But 60 TP is in the open. Boom, 750 damage into him. People still spamming HE at my tank, but we're doing all right, all things considered. And you can see Bobby in the corner. She's She wants on my lap, so she's literally just sitting here staring at me. It's kind of funny. All right, you know, I'm kind of tired of getting... Gosh, these players are more annoying than when they shoot when they shoot uh, heat at the hatch, because they just sit there spamming HE, wasting his time. You're wasting your time, E100. Unfortunately, my commander's dead, so accuracy and stuff kind of exited the chat, but it's fine. We'll just sit back for now. There we go. E100 just fired, and now this silly E100, or 60 TP here, will pay. All right, high explosive. Hate to do this to E3. What? 250? I have 1020 HE alpha. Talk about a low roll there. Alright, we've got 3,000 damage so far. I love HE spam meta. It's the greatest. Okay. <laughs> Looks like no one else on my team is really going to be poking forward here. 
I don't want to just keep bleeding out to the 100 with high explosive shells, so... Let me at least... Or maybe I don't even repair my commander. It's probably just going to get yeeted again. Yeah, it probably is just going to get yeeted again. Alright, Mr. 100. Let's pull up that. Let's pop up. Yes, another blocked high explosive shell. Let's go. That one blocked on the top of the hatch. Now, old E3, that HE shell would have had a chance of actually penning the hatch. So, you know, that that's that's a nice change, right? The, the hatch there doesn't get penned as easily. And we also managed to avoid... <laughs> losing any hit points to there so yay um let's see 60 tp looks like you could be wandering into nernia here dang that 263 could be annoying oh 263 is down lovely hey bobby what you doing oh oh 268 maybe crossing there he is 268 is dead batch i could still pose a problem here though and i don't want to get clipped up the rear by a wild bash off the yawn that's for sure but at the same time, this game is already Jover, so let's just yellow in. Let's get ourselves to our first, like, hopefully 4K-ish battle game here. Alright, Mr. 100's in the open. Let's aim this one in thoroughly. There we go. 4,300 damage dealt. Lovely. This was a good map for the tank, and even on a good map, you can see that the HE spam was still kind of not very pog. And this bat chat's probably going to get himself at the Grill World 530. Oh, to be a Gorilla 15 in the new day in the new age. Girl, you got the clear? Nice. Alright, well, I'll take it. 4.3k damage. Hold on, gameplay. That was definitely a more ideal scenario for the E3. One, the E4 would have actually struggled in because it wouldn't have the gun depression. So, there you go. Howdy, fans. How are you? Good to see you again. Thank you. I am doing pretty well, Lewis. 2,500 damage blocked. Mind you, 2,000 of that damage was from two blocked AT shells. We lost 1,300 credits, apparently. Uh, but, you know, okay, damage. That's, like, one of the most ideal scenarios you can have in E3. Mines where the enemy team does not take hill and they have a bunch of tanks sitting in front of you. Yay! And you even have the good spawn of mines. Um, maybe not so good maps would be ones where you have to run around chasing mechs. This one could be okay. This one could be okay if my team decides to go hill. We'll actually have a chance. Not the best spawn. The YAG and the WZ may or may not be problematic. Um, especially with those heat shells or just HE spam. I'm going to do my best to take hill as quickly as possible. And hopefully my heavies come with. So our M4 would be great on the hill. He has a hold down heavy. So, yeah, he's finally turned up and is coming up the hill with us. So that's good news. And 60 TP also going up. So my whole team's going hill. That's good. We will actually have a decent chance of doing okay up here. And that's definitely the fight I would prefer to take in a T110E3. Uh, I can play haul down and hopefully deal decent damage. As long as the gun works, and as long as I don't get HE spammed to death, which is a very big possibility in this tank. So, there's the M60. <laughs> I took the snapshot, because why not? Uh, clearly, that one didn't go in. Yeah, it's very, very clearly. And we have a whole lot of players up here. A whole, whole lot of players up here. Maybe a few too many players up here, my guys. And 62A just made a very, 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 very questionable play there. Um... Alright, I'm just gonna load the high explosive because I don't trust my gun. Oh, there's the WZ tank destroyer. Let's get an APCR shell in and yay! That's why APCR- Oh my gosh, we're down two- What it- Heavies, why are you all sitting in one court? Oh gosh, this game is over. This game is over, dude. It's already over. Our heavies are all sitting in one little tiny corner. They haven't split up at all. I was too slow to progress anywhere, but my goodness, heavy tanks, you could have at least moved while you with your better mobility. Alright. Yeah, this gun ain't hitting anything. Yeah, this game's a loss. This game is so much a loss. Our Jaeger is now getting flexed on as well. Yeah. <laughs> I don't foresee us winning this one, boys. I really don't foresee us winning this one. There are just way too many tanks in front of us that I cannot deal with right now. Jaeger are getting pretty aggressive up here. Um, hopefully with APCR, I'll be able to deal with them. We will see. APCR. Oh, wow. Yeah. T yeah, po yeah. Spam that HE shell. Great stuff, dude. The M60 making a very questionable play as well. And we're all just getting pushed off the back of the hill. I can't wait for that 268 to pop in. And oh, gosh, guys, I need to maneuver. Oh, yep. Oh my gosh, dude. Our teammates are... It's Jover. This game's Jover. With a team like this, there's nothing you can even do about it. All right, let's aim this one in thoroughly. Nice. 690 damage into him. We still have a 30B and a 183 on our flank here. And yeah, GG. It's now two versus everyone. Two versus everyone. J just my cup of tea. All right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. One last opportunity for damage here. What? Are you kidding me? STRV debated my auto aim. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at these angles. And yeah, your roof is also weaker on the E3, by the way. That's one thing I've noticed. The roof is a much weaker. You can't counter angles easily now on the tank because it seems the roof is like 
way flatter and easier to overmatch with premium rounds. So, 10 out of 10 team there. Um, the My platoon was exceptional at doing a couple of shots before dying, and our 62. <laughs> Bruh, the M4 did was the only person to do okay that game. Even I didn't do much, although to be fair, what on earth could I do there? There's nothing you can do. My whole team sat on one corner, and we threw away two tanks instantly. So it was five versus seven, like barely a minute into the game. And we had three heavies sitting on one corner, clogging the whole thing up. We had no map control. If only like our heavies had pushed more to the right, then we could have created a bit more of a crossfire, maybe have worked that out. But my whole team going to that one spot was kind of an L. If this tank was faster, I would have done it myself, but it's not fast. <sighs> Uh, yeah, that's the painful E3 gameplay I was expecting. The, the games where you just can't do anything because the tank is kind of just meh. And that was one of those scenarios where the tank was meh. The enemy platoon didn't even do all that good, to be honest. Like, I didn't even see them in the top. I don't think they even did top three damage. It was just, my team was just so bad. <laughs> American tanks have such a uh, slappable rear. They do. Anyways, if I didn't get scammed with my fully aimed in HE shot on the side of a yo... I would have at least broken like 24, 2500 damage that game. But unfortunately, that did not happen because my gun said no you. Alrighty. So I'm going to pull up to this hold on position here. We can see the T T123 and the WZTDR over here already. Looks like the Jaegeru has pushed up over here as well. And interestingly, there's a 57 over here. So let's pop a snapshot into him. And oh my gosh, the gun actually did its job. I, well, I'm shocked. I'm actually blown away. M4 is already in our spawn, and do not tell me this T57 is just going to straight up yellow this, right? All right, team, all right, there we go. Good old 57 taking a shot for the team. They have three TDs taking the caves. That's crazy. That's absolutely bonkers. I'm going to have to watch my rear here. Okay, so I don't really have much of a choice other than to pull forward on this 57 Heavy here, who fortunately bounced his whole magazine on me. And let's put another shot towards him. My teammates are just Jover at this point. They're not killing the M4. We've lost the caves. I'm going to have to deal with at least a two tank crossfire here. And I don't know if I have a shot on this Jaeger or not. Might be worth trying to take it. There we go. There's the Yag. All right, let's put 566 into the Jaeger there. Yag has just fired his gun. 62A is down here. I'm stuck in the open. My whole team is still in spawn. Oh, this is Jover. This is so Jover, my dudes. This is so Jover. Our Super Conk's gonna get himself killed doing that play. Yes, he is very much gonna get himself killed doing that play. Oh my goodness, man. What am I to do here? I I can't do anything. I gotta maybe try my luck backing up in a straight line here. Alright, so there is the Yag. Let's aim a shell into his lower plate. Yep, of course my gun says no. I'm just gonna keep backing up the best I can here. And yep. This is uh this is going absolutely fantastic. Alrighty. At least I at least my team have somewhat pulled back to semi-safe positioning here. Oh nice. We actually made a bit of a comeback through the mid there. Maybe, maybe a low key W. Maybe a low key W. There's the Yag. I can't with this gun, dude. I actually cannot with this gun. <laughs> this gun is so ridiculously troll. It's making me mauled. All right. All right. There is the WZ. Lovely. He ricochets on me there. But he's got that reactive armor activated for the... Not that it matters. My gun is just going to keep trolling me. I am done. I am actually already done with this tank. Holy smokes, man. And we have basically already lost this battle. Yep. And the last thing I want is a Yag aching me up the booty cheek. So... I can see what he's trying to do there. I can definitely see what he's trying to do there. Okay, I can maybe get to a face hug with this dude. Okay. So, we managed to bounce the Jaegeru there. One more pen on this dude. Uh, my speed boost is not active for a few more seconds here. Yeah, this is just Jover. Say, say, say farewell to your boy here. And I'm dead. Just like that, my whole lower plate is exposed. Oh, he HE'd me. Interesting play. Well, my teammates were super talented here. You can kill me, E3. <laughs> what is that team? I cannot with this gun. It's so bad. It's like worse than E100, I swear. Because at least E100 has a turret, so it's flexible in that regard. Um... Honestly, I can't really blame my platoon in the caves. Not much they could do there. The problem was my 
I'm pretty sure I saw f three or four allies sitting in the back of spawn. So no one but me was even trying to cover caves. And I couldn't do anything because the 57, right? 5762. And then we had this NPC sitting in the back of spawn. Uh, the 215B took ages to push out. If he had pushed up with the Conqueror and cleared the 57, we could have cleared low side trap 13 within caves and actually won that. But since it was just me trying to hold, and I could not push the 57 and 62 because too many targets, as well as an SDB that would cross fire me out. So that was just another, another game where being super team dependent in a tank sucks. And also, I should have had like 5k damage that game, but yeah, the gun just said no you. Over and over again. I, I, I legitimately just do not enjoy playing this tank. It's not garbage. It's very close to garbage in my book, though. <laughs> that was my, was my RG yesterday, bro. This game was winnable. It was, dude. But the like the Yag would have been basically dead if my two shots had penned him. If my two shots had hit or penned the WZ, he would have been basically dead. Um, If I managed to hit the penned the shot on the 57's turret, like, before he dipped, he probably would have died faster and given my team a chance to win. Like, if the gun just hadn't trolled me so hard that battle, we actually could have won that pretty easily. But, uh, so is the way of the T-123. Alright, let's see if the gun trolls me or not. Yay! 260 auto pen angles goes burr. Alright, well, we're nice and hold down here. I'm just happy that that shot went in. Not the highest roll, but I will take it. And I don't think this 260 is going to poke me again. My, my, my aim button is slightly out of place here. Hmm. Okay. So we got ourselves a T-123 over on this corner. The enemy team are being pretty aggressive in the mid. My team should have a W over. Okay. Woo wee. Let's see if we can bait this hoary here. Or maybe I don't have to. Ah, let's go up the hall a little bit. There we go. Now I can back out safely. Alrighty. Or I don't even have to back out. This E3 is going to poke me soon, I think. Well, not that it matters. <laughs> Alrighty. So we still got ourselves a hoary over here. I have APCR loaded in. Oh, yeah. Lovely. So my tank's armor profile is too low to shoot him. And yep, that's where he pens me. Right through the mini hatch. That's insane. Alrighty. Also, look at that. Do you see that? That is a new weak spot on the E3. The PBR version did not have that entire gray strip on the side. It now has that. So, kind of another L for the E3's armor profile there. That it has a random penetration angle that it never had before. I hit those. Nope. Nope. What am I talking about? This gun doesn't hit anything. Our grill's gonna die soon, our front's gonna fall apart, and another garbage team for my team to lose to. The only redeeming factor is maybe if I can shoot HE shell into this dude's rear here. Very good. Oh, nope, 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 never mind. I should've just snapped it off without aiming. That would've been better for me, Loki. Oh my goodness, boys. This is not looking good for my allies here. This is not looking very good for my team. Mind you, it's not Jover yet, but it ain't looking good. Alrighty. Why do I even take snapshots of this redonkulous tank? Oh my goodness. Well, we are uh, now going to have to 1v1 a 1 to 1 back here. And I can't even pull out, unfortunately, due to the Hori crossfire. And he's covered by a 260. And a 268. I think we just accept the L, guys. This game is also unwinnable. Just like every other game we've played so far. All right. 260 has bad pen. Absolutely no problem penning through the LARP plate there. And now it's just me and this BZ here. That's all that's left in this game. So, um, yay. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll get an Amorak on someone. I don't think I'm going to be getting lucky, guys. Oh, hello, 268. I don't know, man. Teams are just falling apart. Somehow. Two of my allies, two of them, lost to a single 1-2-1 one, one, and didn't even take half his HP away. Who lost to the 1-2-1? One, one? Our AMX 30B did one shot of damage to the 1-2-1 one, one, and our grill maybe did one shot to the 1-2-1. One, one. So, yeah, that's two tier 10s that lost to a 1-2-1 one, one there. I did top apparently, 2.5. This is precisely what I'm talking about. In this meta, I think the E3 is pretty terrible. There's just, the games are just way too fast paced. It's way too dependent on its non-existent teammates in order to do anything. I just dislike this tank. If I was in medium tanks, all these games would be very winnable. <laughs> How's the win rate looking? I don't know. Uh, win rate? Let's see. Three losses in a row, three wins in a row. So we're 50%. With PBR, E3's actual cheeks now? I would say, yeah. I would say PBR nerfed the tank, 100%. I think it's a nerf. 
I, I genuinely do not see this tank being remotely better than its previous state here. The only benefit is people do not hit the rat HE shell in your hatch. That's the only thing that improved. In my opinion, everything else got worse. Uh, try V-stabs in E3. I did try V-stabs and the gun was just as troll, so I thought I was supposed to refine and it's still just as troll. So, you know what? Maybe I have to just play with, um... Maybe I just have to play with... I'll try switching back the V-stabs, although I don't think it's going to make a huge difference because when I was testing this tank out yesterday, I was molding just as much about the gun. I think that's kind of like one of the biggest problems with the E3 right now is like, sure, it's high alpha, but the gun is just so terrible in terms of accuracy, it doesn't even feel remotely good. And apparently the concept just takes zero damage there. Okay, I see how it is. So what's up? my teammates take the ruins? Okay, at least we know the Karo hasn't taken ruins here. We also know the Minoratos positioning. Oh, wow! Look at that. Already getting heat pent through that hatch. Good thing that hatch got buffed, right, guys? Right, guys? Good thing that hatch got buffed, right? So you're telling me I can't even go haul down against something like a concept because of its lackluster hatch armor. Yeah, this this tank is, is kind of a big L right now, my dudes. Kind of big L. Very, very big L, in my opinion. There are so many other tanks I would prefer to play right now. The E4 would be close to the top of that list. The good news is, though, their whole team's kind of going... Are you kidding me, team? Yeah. Like... Oh, my gosh. Your 100s and I was like, how does this dude allow you to just pull all the way over like that? All right. There is a mouse. Bro, I'm actually going to rage quit at this point. I'm actually going to rage quit with this gun. There's no way a gun can be so bad with only 680 alpha. I thought the E100 had a bad gun. I genuinely thought the E100 had a bad gun. Until... Until now. I, I've realized my mistaken ways. The E100's gun maybe isn't all that bad. Anyways, my teammates are not going to be helping me against this concept, it would appear. Um, this one should have no problem going through his hatch there. Good stuff. Alrighty, Mr. Concept maybe making some suspect plays here. If only my teammates were here to help me out. Like, I don't know, the Hori? Or, hey, what about our Object 777 here chilling in the back? Yeah, do, do, you, want, do you want to help a homie out over here or what? No? Okay, that's fine. I guess I'll just die. I guess I'll just die here. I, I guess our, our E100 is going to keep sitting in Narnia. Um, and I'm just going to take the L. Okay, this this might be my only opportunity of survival here. The face hug. Let the face hug cook. Let the face hug cook. Let the face hug cook, please. Please, I swear, if I get penned in this face hug, I'm going to be malted. Okay. The face hug cooks. Let's go. Oh, okay, I'm loading up APCR here. Oh, I'm dead. I'm still very dead. I am still as dead as can be. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe not yet. Maybe not yet. Maybe not yet. Maybe not yet. Okay, not yet. Let's go. W. Okay, okay, okay. Nice, 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 nice. No, what is that? <laughs> what an El Bozo Karo. What was that YOLO, dude? Buddy was so determined to pick up the kill that he just threw away his almost full HP tank. Uh, yeah, nice play, Caro. That was a very silly play. Did you not see your badger get wrecked moments before? Like, literal moments before? <laughs> Alright, well, this game has been great so far. The concept, peppering me with mostly standard shells. Maybe he shell to her here. Um, I don't even know if... I think I've blocked a couple shots of damage, yay. Okay, the badger's dead, right? Oh, no. No, the, oh, that was the 405. I knew there was a tank over my left. I just wasn't sure what. Okay, back up, 405. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, I gotta help out on this side. I gotta help out on this side. Minotauro! There we go. 500 damage to the Minerato. Our Fosh is baiting? What an insane Foshy poo. I've done just about 3,000 damage so far, so it's not over yet. Um, There's the Minerato and the Mouse. They're both backing up into Narnia here. Mouse is kind of pulling up a little bit. Let's see. Uh, AP right through the side of the turret. Nice. There we go. 670 damage into him. My only primary concern right now is that 4005. He could be a bit problematic if he were to pull up on me. But fortunately, he has not pulled up on me just yet. Yep, being the key word. He has one more shell in the magazine here. Okay, 4005 just shot his whole magazine there. There's the mouse. APCR through the upper plate, probably. Nice. The gun actually doing its job. Okay, now it's just me and this absolutely talented e100 player here so i'm gonna back up a bit and hopefully before i'm spotted uh, again i'm gonna push up a killer 405 here let's hope i'm fast enough boys and let's hope i don't low roll them that that's that's the key here okay i'm gonna get as close as possible to this corner here your 405 fired once 405 fired twice high explosive clear w 
E100 gets cleared as well. F for the E3. F for the E3. Forever, forever, probably. probably. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you very much, Jippy Boy, for the donation. Really do appreciate that. And uh, yeah, big big F for the E3. I, I do agree with you there. Um, the tank has been a little bit painful right now to play. And I'm one versus three, so I, I kind of doubt I'm going to be able to do anything about this matchup here. All right, quick APCR show there. Maybe I should have just shot AP. I could have maybe guaranteed making him a one tap, but uh, not much I can do about that, Chief. And this VK-72 will definitely out-reload me here. The problem is whether or not he'll have a good lower plate shot. All right, good shot into him there. Come on, come on. Oh, nice. We managed to bait the high explosive shell. Let's go, W. W. Oh, no, we are so dead. We are so dead. Goodbye. <laughs> this is pain. Now, Yoda is lost, dude. It's just you. He was lost. Ah. Uh. Well, I did okay. I got 5,700 damage and 3,600 blocked. You know what? That was my best opportunity today to tank yet. They're 405.5k damage there. What? Um, wait, we had a 62. Did he go? I don't even think he went med side. Um, man. You know what? Shout out to our Fosh, dude. Our Fosh was an absolute warrior over there. He like baited their team so hard for so long. Uh, thank you very much, you people. Again, for the donation. Wait, you can like super chats? Oh, I can't like the super chat. That's, that's a shame. <laughs> Bro, this is another scenario where if my shots were just hitting, like, the side of the mouse there and stuff like that, we might have been able to win that if that mouse had... Because he would have been minus 680 HP if I'd rolled average. Um, did the best I could there, sadly. Maybe I should have fired AP at the VK first. I would have had a pretty decent chance of two-shotting him there. I just want to aim because I thought he was going to try and HE my hatch. So I just, like, snapped it and didn't want to aim too much. Um... But maybe if I would double AP'd them, I could have killed him there. Probably still would have lost, but I could have gotten, like, at least 6 k damage out there, right? Uh, are we sure the matchmaking is fixed? Oh, yeah, this is this is random battles, guys. This is random battles. Uh, but random battles when I'm not playing a medium tank or a mobile heavy. Like, when I'm not playing tanks where I can dictate how, how the battle is going to roll out, and I'm very dependent on my team, this is what it's like on average. <laughs> Matchmaker's fix RTS. <laughs> yeah, basically. Oh my goodness. Well, this is uh this has been a, a whole lot of fun so far, guys. This is why, like, dude, right out right at the beginning of the stream, I I told you guys this is gonna be a very painful experience. And I'm not uh I was not joking. And like I said, E3 once again never was my cup of tea in terms of tanks, although I did do pretty well in it back like a few years ago. Uh, but that was during peak heavy tank meta, IS-4s, E-100s, IS-7s, and E3 had just gotten its speed boost. It had better armor, it had a more accurate gun, right? There was a lot that E3 had gone for it, which made it super compelling back in the peak heavy tank meta. Not really anymore. Not really, not, not really in this meta. I think it's just not very prime in this meta. Is kind, of, is kind of really one of the bigger issues as well. There's just a lot going on that this tank can't really keep track of. Um, okay, the 183 should not have shots on me. Hello, 57. Going. <laughs> Facehog face is, is, is the play, apparently. Rutland, thank you very much for the donation. Appreciate it. And yes, Facehog was the only thing so far that worked out in this tank. Let's go. Hype, hype, hype. All right, let's hope the 183 is not looking for me. I know this is risky with the 183s, but I got to aim for the, like, potential ammo rack here. 600 damage dealt. Let's go. Oh, snap. No. Please don't hash me. Please don't hash me. Oh, maybe if I move up. Well, right through the, uh, right through the, maybe the drive wheel. I'm not really sure. What, what, what the heck was that 183 thinking though? Like, what is that positioning? There we go. At least we got 730 into him. Let's go. Okay. I, I didn't think the 183 was going to be pulling up over there. That, uh, Loki was kind of an L play on my part. Not going to lie. Although the 183 is still pulling up over here through the mid. So let's put another shell into the 183. 580 damage into him. Nice. Woo! Blocking 1200 hash shell there. How's my rear doing? I guess it could be doing worse. Also could be doing a whole lot better, to be honest. Um, I don't know if this 183 is going to give me another shot here. I believe. No way! I hit a snapshot. Let's go. That's insane. All right. 1E3 and E4 are both back here. I mean, uh, yo, are both back here. Um, I have 1200 HP. I need to help my E100 clear out their 1E3 as quickly as possible, I think. Oh my gosh, H-E-G-O. 918, that was a low roll. Okay, I gotta actually back up from here. I'm about to lose a good 900 hit points. Watch and observe, my fellow friends. Watch and observe. Okay, that's one pen. Damaged Amorak as well. Are you 100 low-key kind of gaming right now? Let's go. That's Pog. 
Uh, my flank, though, not looking very spicy. E100, I believe in you. I have faith. I have faith in your abilities. Good old E100, sir. Please just kill him so we can double... Oh my gosh, the yo's gonna give me another high explosive shell here. Nope, AP. Okay. I gotta start. No, I shouldn't overextend here because the E100 is about to die. And the 62A is pulling up as well. Yeah, yeah, I gotta pull back here. Oh boy, this should be a lot of fun. This should be a whole lot of fun. Especially once the 62A gets to my side here. 630 into him. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, we're cooking. We're cooking. 4.6k damage dealt. We have not ceased to exist yet. That is a W play. And we still have ourselves a 183 back here. So, snapshot for the clear. Nice. Okay, that should put me at about 5,000 damage. Alrighty. Now it's me versus a wild 62A. My concept is 480 hit points. I need him to just chill ax for a bit while the 62A is rotating out in probably the worst manner possible. <laughs> what is the gun doing to me? What is the gun doing to me? Oh, 62A, please get Amorak. <laughs> Not quite. Oh my gosh, we won. Guys, we won. Ah, uh, we won. We won, finally. I'm so thankful that armor profile, though. You guys saw how effective it was there. Die not even an ace. Okay, I guess players are still doing okay in it. Uh, 1400 base XP. How much damage did I block? 1600, which was, I believe, a shot from the O and a Heschel into the tracks, which would have been blocked on an E4 probably anyways. But, um... Okay, 5.6, woo! We are kind- we kind of cooked for the last two games at least, right? We kind of cooked at least! Could have been a lot worse. <sighs> we did it, let's go. I know, it only took us five games to get a win, right? Did we win- did we lose four in a row there? I think we did. Oh gosh. Sadly, no mastery for me. No, 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 no mastery. Shout out to the 100 though. The 100 did a really good job solo holding against the enemies 183 and Yo. Dude was kind of cooking. The Yo made a big mistake there when he did not- like, just finish off the E100. He should have finished off the E100 and ignored me. And then his team probably would have swept that side a lot faster. Maybe even had a better chance of winning that. But fortunately for me, he did not do that. Anywho, off to the next gaming E1, ET1 to E3 experience. Um, let me, I, oh yeah, I need to remember to swap to V stabs and see if that actually makes any difference. I really don't think it's going to make much of a difference, but it's worth a try, right? Enemy team being very fast on the aggressive play through here. Nice shot by the crew. Good stuff, dude. Um, let's see. Is this VZ going to pull up the ramp? I think he will. We have our APCR shell loaded up here for the side of his turret. Bop. Quick shot to the VZ for 600. Lovely stuff. We even bounced an APCR shell from him. Alrighty. So, let's think about how this game is going to progress. 777 and version 4 and another tank over there. My meds are kind of cooking. Not really, but kind of cooking. There is a VZ providing cover. Fi Oh, 57's back there. Interesting. Uh, I wonder if I'll get a shot on this 57 in a moment here. I think I will. I think he's that type of player. I do. I do. I do. I believe. I believe in the 57 heavy. Oh, wow. Okay. Thank heavens my tank's haul down, right, guys? All right. Fully aim in. Dude, look at that. Look at that. Imagine giving up everything so players can just repeatedly pen you right when you're haul down. Wait, what am I even doing? And why is there a 30B here? Why on earth is there a 30B already in our spawn? There's not really anything I can do about Mr. 30B here, is there? Uh, did my med side collapse? No, their meds just rotated in. Fight the rotation by their medium tanks here. Um, how's my rear looking? Eh, it could be looking worse. Okay, I gotta pull a little bit more to the left here. Okay, one quick shot to this man's here. And I also have a 907 pushing in from my side, so it's angle up to him there. Nice, we managed to get the ricochet in. Good clear E50M. Good, 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 good clear. But it's just gonna be me here now. Oh boy. The enemy meds kind of screwed us over there. They did, they did, they made a very fast and quick rotation. Shout out to them. Alrighty. Well, boys, here is where I die. Because my team... Our VK90 is in Narnia. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. You can stay in Narnia if you want, my dude. That, that, that's perfectly cool by me. Alright, another clear on this man's here. I'm gonna try angling my hull down a little bit here. Hopefully the 752 or object 777 here bounces. 
I gotta hope he bounces, actually. There we go. He does ricochet. Alrighty. Yo, we're actually gonna win. Okay. Shout out to the 50M. He made a nice rotation back to help your boy out. Hello. 715 to you, kind sir. Lovely stuff. Um, yeah. Well, there we go. Team 183 experience. Please don't high roll that. Yes, we baited him. Well, thank heavens I was able to hold there. <laughs> Thank heavens I was able to hold there, too, though. It's like, what's the point? I swear, even though the new hatch doesn't get... Eight, like, the small hatch doesn't get HE'd as often, I'm pretty sure it didn't get AP pens or heat penned as often as it does now. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to check if they enlarged the pen, the pen box on this hatch, but it used to be really slim, and then there was just a really tiny corner you could HE it. Maybe it's a little bigger now. I'm not sure. I'll have to look back. Or actually, maybe I can check on my thumbnail. Ah, uh, my thumbnail doesn't show the hatch. I don't have any pictures. Anyways, E50 save your cheeks. Yeah, yeah, E50 was clutch there. Shout out to the E50. I should have given him an upvote, and I, I forgot my V-stamps again. I should have upvoted the E50M there. Dude saw that there was a 30B sneaking around in our spawn and came back to help me, so... Thank you to whoever you are. Do appreciate that. What well, TD should I grind? The E3, E4, T6, A. Personal opinion based on the tanks that I find to be the most enjoyable to play as tank destroyers. 2-6-A, E-4, and then E-3 to be last. The recommendation I would give is if you're used to playing generic TDs, definitely go for the 2 6 eight. That tank is amazing in the right hands, but it's very delicate. The T-110 E-4 is probably the most versatile of the bunch because of its turret, consistent gun, very strong armor profile. Low-key armor profile is more pog than the E-3s nowadays, I swear. Um, and so you can't go wrong with either the E-4 or 2 6 eight. And this stream will basically showcase everything that I like and dislike about the E3. So you can make that decision yourself, I think. Uh, but yeah, if, if you guys know me, you'll know that I am in love with the 268. It is easily one of my top favorite tier 10 tanks right now. The tank just hits different. All right, off to the next battle. Let's let's do some let's do some suspect gameplay for the beginning of this battle. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there's the version four. I don't know if he spotted me. He did not. Bop. Quick shot into the version 4 there. Lovely stuff. My team do have the good spawn, so that's great. That means we should be able to hold here just fine and dandy. And it looks like the enemy team are making some big old oopsies over here. And I might be able to just barely pull up over here. Whoa! Oh, 50B. Bad timing. Real bad timing, 50B. Oh, that poor 50B. I was like, what am I looking at? Buddy just messed up massively there. All right, Mr. Kron, H.E. through the hatch. Who am I kidding? It's never going to hit. <laughs> well, my team's doing great here. Looks like the bat chat's gone off the cap. Uh, the 268 sitting in Narnia. My teammates definitely could start pressuring this, I think. And uh, if we didn't, it would actually be a bit of a mistake. So, hola, team. Let's start, let's start the aggressive gameplay here. Oh, I'm getting pens. Well, at least only one shot damaged my ammo rack. All right, Mr. Kron. Let's see how it's done. Hat shot? Not quite. HE splash? Let's go. All right, team. It's time to show them what we're made out of. Okay, I'm going to take advantage of this opportunity because the 30 B is about to get yeeted from behind by TVP. And I'm going to start progressing forward over on this version 4 here. Who we should be able to kill with a nice APCR shell. He's going to angle a little bit towards that side. Nice. Lovely. All right. Well, this game actually ended up being somewhat decent. Decent being the key word here. Uh, maybe 3k damage if I'm lucky, and that's about it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Max roll HE, please. No, I didn't have the max roll crew skill. Who am I tripping? Okay, nice. And, uh, yeah. Well, their team did the same thing that my team did earlier in the stream. They all got trapped in this corner, and no one really held properly over here. The i7 tried, so shout out to him. They didn't really have their team split up enough for our team to cook there. So, uh, good, good attempt, sir. Good attempt, but uh, it was all in it was all in vain. Alrighty, alrighty, Mister Bashatyon. We. <laughs> I tried to eat it because I knew he was about to die. It was a good attempt. Uh, I got like what three and a half, three point six. I'll take it. W. Even in the bunker roll, just play WZ. E4 and 26A are equally effective, just very different play styles. E3 is actually worse than the WZ right now. LOL. Low key, you kind of got a point there. The WZTD is just the new T110E3. The only difference being the gun. And I would heavily argue that the WZ's gun is a lot more effective on its platform. The tank's way more mobile. The tank has ridiculously troll frontal armor, especially when angling. 
Um, the only disadvantage of the WZTD, I suppose, versus the E3, except for gun depression, is that its armor will not be as effective against 370 or above heat pen. Uh, anything, I think, with over 370 heat can pretty easily butter the front of it. But if you're playing against, let's say, maybe an E5 running rammer, that tank will not be able to punt pen your superstructure. It's kind of cracked. All right, uh, I'm going to go heavy side, even though I spawned on the wrong end, because I'd like to go haul down. The only problem is haul down doesn't really mean anything in this tank anymore. Like, low key, with how easy a hatch gets premium pen now through the middle. And I think they finally updated the hit skin to show that it's penable. That's, that's the big problem. Is when I was looking at E3 earlier, there was this gray bar at the center bottom of the hatch. I'm like, oh no. It actually looks like you can pen it, and you probably can with premium rounds. So, we'll see. But, uh, fortunately, the enemy team, a bit slow on the rotation here. Very slow on the rotation here, as a matter of fact. Let me just pull on up towards this corner so I can go haul down here. Alrighty. Let's start off with Mr. 183. He's a bit of a bigger threat here. I'm surprised that pens, but I'll take it. Very good. So, 183 got nuked. 50, uh, 50 TP also getting kind of nuked here. Their team does not seem to be binking all too much on this end. And I think the whole team's here, judging by our medium tank positioning. So that's that, that's a W. All right, 183 making a silly play. So let's clear him out. Lovely. Now, this should, in theory, be a fairly decent uh, fight for me because I'm in a good haul down spot here. And it's a very good haul down map. The only question is, oh, excuse me, whether or not we can capitalize on the enemy team's positioning or not. All right, so we have ourselves a wild at 113 here who has just fired his gun. Lovely indeed. Oh, there's a K91. 770 into you, good sir. Nice little bait there. Lovely. The 113's in a really, like, well dug in positioning, and we're gonna have to worry about crossfire since I'm not gonna really worry so much about pressuring him out right now. Um, the bigger problem will most certainly be the tanks, like, the, uh, on their flank right now. All right. Maybe I should turn the auto aim off. Oh wow! Willis Ching, object AKA 84, the greatest battleship admiral in history and a five Olympic gold medals in shooting, once said that acquiring accuracy is priority to speed. D. <laughs> Thank you very much for the donation. I'm not really sure what I just heard, but do appreciate the support. <laughs> oh my goodness, team! I'm gonna act like I'm looking away from this dude. Psych! You just got baited so hard, object 84. What are you doing? Dude, I remember this K, dude. He talked mad trash to Rain during a tournament once. <laughs> All right, another shot. Let's go. We're well, nice and safe here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this, this WZ is not cooking, my guys. The only problem is her flank now. That's a pretty significant problem, to be honest. I can keep holding here, but you need to back up safely, my dude. Can I back up safely, maybe? I need to be able to back up. A Minotaro should be okay for now. Okay. I can hold hold on here. I just need my Minotaro not to get cooked, basically. That's, that's the important part. Oh, the Minotaur is so getting cooked here. I did not need to repair that. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm getting cooked here. I am so getting cooked here. Oh, let's go. Another ricochet. But I'm dead. Dude, what is our Minotaur doing? Minotaur, why didn't you just hold? Why didn't you just turn back and hold with me on the corner? They can't push us if we're both holding each corner there. Dude, the Minotaur is such a silly player. What was that throw? But he wandered off to kill the 50 TP that was causing nobody an issue, left us to hold the front side by ourselves, and then doesn't even put himself in a position to cover me there. Maybe he could win if he's lucky, but no, he's gonna use his reserve shell here. Yep, it's Jover. Dude, should have pulled back and prepared himself. Oh my goodness. Hi, Shocky! <laughs> I think I did okay there. I think I did okay. You know, there wasn't a whole lot I could do there. Maybe pushing it for the 113 was the misplay and I should have just held back. But like our Minotaur was literally rear on. If I didn't keep that 113 from YOLOing him, our Minotaur probably would have been cooked there. Kind of uh, an L play of the Minerato. All the Minerato had to do there was pull back to my positioning and we could have just both held the corners there and their team couldn't have done anything about it. But he wandered off and put his rear to the 113 to the Karo and I was just like, bruh. 
<laughs> so I wanted to try and keep him alive, which is why I pressured the 113 there. Originally, it was just going to hold back, but since the Min Minerato is making a, a massive misplay there. How's it going, Mr. Shock? Hope you're doing all right. Ah, uh, yes. I, I, I could just imagine how different that game would be if I was in a medium tank. Like, how easy it would have been to counter to win that battle. Their team was not even all that good. Like, really, they weren't that they weren't that great. It was just... My tank is just too slow and useless to do anything. And even with 8 degrees of gun depression, it's still hard to work those corners because you have to pull so far out to shoot over the cover. And here's another thing about the E3. Its gun is mounted really low, so it's hard to shoot over obstacles. And that is a bit of a nuisance, to be honest, when you can't shoot over an obstacle. Uh, this dude is getting cooked already. I don't know if he's getting cooked from the left side or from the mid here. It looks like he got hit by a Cobra, I would say. Some tanks in front of us. Oh, there we go. There's an enemy T1 10 E3. Enemy Concept. He's not quite looking at me. Let's put a shot into the Concept there. Nice. Concept losing half his health. That's a good start to this game. Let's go. Alrighty. Well, let's, let's do some experimentals on the T1 10 E3's hatch here. Okay, we managed to bounce his APCR shell. But, well, mine didn't even hit his hatch, so I guess that doesn't count. Still, man, that, that superstructure armor, I'm pretty sure, got a lot weaker. I don't remember it being so gray on the front. Like, seriously. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? If it isn't a fine little fosh. There we go. Nice. Alrighty. Not so bad. The Kron is getting gamed on, so that's good news. The Kron has been gamed on. The Kron is no longer in the game. Um, 268 over here on my left hand side. Might get a quick shell into him here. It's in this one in thoroughly. 640. And then if I'm just barely fast enough here. Nope. I'm not fast enough. 10 kilometer an hour reverse speed is insane. Absolutely cracked, ain't it? All right. Let's see how the E3 hatches. <laughs> I take it back. The gun's just not going to hit anyways. Why do I bother? Ay, ay, ay. I think I gotta try and gun block the hatch shots now in this tank, dude. 400 splash in the hatch? What? Nah, that's gotta be a joke, right? Oh my goodness, I can't with this gun. I really can't. I can't. This gun is just like E100, but on steroids. <laughs> well, it practically is the E100's gun, just with better GPM and pen. And then I hit that. Okay, I hit that shot. I see how it is. I see how it is. The, fo the, the fully aimed in shots go to Narnia, but the unmove uh, unmoved shots are the ones that hit. Yo, that's crazy, dude. Hey, yo, that, hey, yo, hey, yo, that's... Dude, look how weak that superstructure is now. What? I swear the superstructure was not that penable. And this is APCR. Like, it is hype in APCR, but still, it's APCR. It should not be as effective against angled armor. That's crazy. All right, my dudes. Come on. Come on, poke it, you silly. Come on, poke it, silly. I know you want to. I can smell it in the air, you want to, poke it. I know I could be killing E3 right now, but uh, I am being a little selfish for damage, as you can see. Come on, what is he doing? Alrighty, well, whatever. Oh, now he's going to pull forward. Now he pulls forward. No. <laughs> then you hit that. Dude, I'm telling you. Sometimes just like the less you aim, the more likely you are to hit. Also, what is my man's doing? Well, it hit. <laughs> I'm just impressed it hit. For Unfortunately, it hit his gun, but uh. Ay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got off work like an hour ago. Oof. Goodness shock. Welcome back. Uh, to your humble abode, I hope. Uh, 3.3. .3. Eh, we did okay. We did okay. Hmm. W Fosh shot. That was a pretty W shot. Never gonna, not, not gonna lie. Never aim. That changed in the update for the, what changed the update for the E3? It got, it got the PBR textures and along with it, in my opinion, a significant overall nerf to a lot of its armor profile. Its hatch is still quite penable. It's superstructure on the right side it looks like it's flat now. You see, that's the problem. The superstructure, I think, if I remember correctly, the superstructure used to be very rounded. Look how flat it is. If you're looking, like, near the mantlet on the right side here, look how flat that is. It is, like, completely flat. So, 
high pen premium rounds can actually pen you frontally now very easily through that front because it's just a big old flat strip of armor begging to be shot at. Um, not so much on the left side or I guess, yeah, the left side of the E3. It's not so much of an issue, but dude, the right side, definitely a little problematic in my opinion. Anyway, so if you have a super bunker kind of going down, I think I'm going to try going a little bit more towards the middle here. I don't usually play this position anymore nowadays, but at the moment, I feel like I might be able to get away with it. So let's put a quick shot into this dude. And oh boy. Oh, nice. So they're E3 uh, high rolls. Man, catch me on fire. And there's their 268. Interesting. All right, might have been a bit of a over over um, over peak there, but you know what? The good news is, is we're still gonna maybe farm up some decent damage here. Yes, put forward two six eight, uh, APCR. Zero damage to the two six eight. What? What? All right, so oh, this is the same E three from earlier, and he looks like he's just gonna be sniping all game. So as long as I'm safe from him, I don't have to worry about too much here. My team is holding the cap quite nicely. We've managed to stall the enemy team from making any kind of plays up here. There's Mr. 268. So let's put 580 into him. Okay, I'll take that. There's the bat chat as well. Just gotta keep an eye on what the E3's doing, but I don't personally think he's gonna push up. Unfortunately, my team is getting cooked over here from this top side. And uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot I can do about that other than maybe turn my gun towards the 30B here. But I can't even pull up. Yeah, because the 268 and the E3's positioning here is really not pleasant. Oh my gosh, no, no one's holding a counter cap. Oh, we got two E3s on our team. That's why. This is so bad. Someone needs to someone needs to keep that T22 off of us or it's Jover. Oh yeah, he can overmatch my top now. That's just great. Okay, E3 just fired his gun. Begin the process of retreating here, boys. Begin continue the process of retreating here, boys. Oh no 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 no. Alright. Dude, look, look how easy it is to overmatch that E3 armor profile now. Yeah, this game's Jover. Oh, this game is so Jover. This E3 is just a goner. This E3 is such a goner. I'm gonna use him as maybe a meat shield here. Other E3 is just gonna go for me. Let's go. We got one more shot of damage out. Hype, hype, hype. <laughs> Please waste your time. Okay, okay. One more shot, please, 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 please. One more shot! Yes! <laughs> Alright, well, um, yeah. So, let's see what happened there. No one on my team held the right side, except the 200 LT tried. Uh, it's just the bad spawn. When you have the bad spawn of vineyards, what can you do, dude? You literally can't do anything. Maybe if I'd sat TD spot, it would have been okay, but I didn't trust my allies to provide me enough support there to want to put myself in a position where I'd maybe get paratracked by two 210 meds. Um... This dude's clearly having a great time in his E3. Oh, he's just most played tank too. 8,000 games. I feel so sorry for him. It's, I, I genuinely do. He most played tank, but he just got like pretty much nerfed. Bass <laughs> went too aggressive and the E3 hit it. Yeah, basically. I was hoping their E3 would not be in that position yet when I went for the shot on the E5. I knew that was a gamble play. That was probably the only misplay I made there. I don't think anything else I could have done differently about that game, to be honest. <laughs> Are you a fan of map rotation? No, I think it's a terrible idea. What, what What's the point in removing maps for months at a time to reintroduce them? So all of the bad players who barely understood how to play the maps in the first place will completely forget how to play them. I You see it every time a map is reintroduced from map rotation, dude. Everyone, like half the teams are clueless on what to do. It's kind of funny. Um, so I personally don't think it's a good idea. I think a better idea would be to maybe introduce the maps like tier by tier. Like, you know, there's some tier seven to blow maps. So maybe limit some of the maps where you won't see them until you're past tier eight and then some tier past tier nine, then have them all available in tier 10. I think that's, I think that's a fair way of doing things personally. Um, rather than this kind of whack rotating them out for a few months at a time, rotating them in and rotating them out. I just think it's not helping the game necessarily like or, yeah, or make it where sub 5k matchmaker they don't face certain maps. That, that would be fine, too. Woo-wee! Massive HE shot for the start of this game. Let's go. Oh, no, that's a VZ-55. He is not going to have any problems penning, penning me here. The good news is, though, I'm going to pick up a clear here. It's more viable for my teammates. Got to make sure I pick up them clears. Oh, this is not good. But I might be just hold down enough here. I might just barely be hauled on enough here. I think I'll just barely be hauled on enough here. Side shot? Nice. All right. Yeah, I might be okay here, Loki. 
Unless they all pull across, in which case that could be problematic. Yeah, like they're doing right now. 268 could also be an issue here. Um, but he's not pulling out on me yet. Just need to make sure I give myself enough room to traverse around if he does pressure me. I'll hold here for now. My teammates can provide that support. This is fine because they're all scared to push me. And this is where an E3 Loki's intimidation factor is kind of nice. I should just fire at HE. I should just... Oh my gosh, even at T1 and LT standard AP can bend it now like that. No. Oh goodness. This is this is heinous. What has happened to my boy? Heal tanks? Nice. Hello, Mr. VZ. Howdy do, partner. Howdy do, partner. You're gonna definitely struggle to pen me here, I think. Alrighty. Buddy just got double fuel tanked on L. That was uh, kind of a, a rip, rip momento. Right, there we go. That was actually a pretty fun game in E3. I think we did exactly what an E3 is supposed to do, which is just be an annoying piggy. Well, hold on. <laughs> Fortunately, everyone was kind of afraid to push me there. I think we got 4k out. Uh, fun fact, aiming for 0 0.5 seconds negates RNG cal calculation equal legit. Yeah, yeah, legit calculations, bro. Totally legit calculations. Oh my goodness. So, uh, yeah, looks like uh, today isn't a good day for playing Sniper. Eh? Why well, can't you just have all maps available? I agree. I mean, dude, it wasn't a problem for years to come. It's like trying to make the game easier for new players, I totally get. But if sub 5k battle players basically get their own matchmaker, then I'm sure they could implement a way of just having it where people in that matchmaker don't have to face certain maps. Like, why not, right? I think that would work fine and dandy. And then, and then you don't have to worry about it. Or like I said, just make it tier for tier, right? So have, just rotate out maps, maybe in the lower tiers, mid tiers or something, and then just keep like tier nine and 10, mostly the same. Also a good idea in my opinion, but whatever it is, or actually just don't have map rotation. I mean, heck, we didn't have map rotation for like nine years of the game and it was fine. <laughs> Unless it's like too many resources to have all of the maps implemented at once. In which case, I, I kind of get if it's like it's too resource heavy on the game. Eh? Why? What on earth am I watching? Oh my goodness. Okay, as they say, aim less, hit hard. Hmm. I have a thousand HE alpha, by the way. That only hit for 840. Well, this should be fun. Who needs armor when you can sit back and snipe for days? Am I right or am I right? The enemy team has already made one of the most peculiar early game plays I have seen on this map. Not really sure what that's all about, but heck, I'll take it. My team are really well situated to just chill here. There's the TBP. I think the 57 is just dead, so I don't even have to really bother with them anymore. Oh, there's the WZTD. Hey, yo. Ah, uh, there we go. Clear. Nice. All right. Can we cook up for one more good solid game? It's all I've requested. It's all I've requested, I think. One solid game to make me happy. Happy, happy, happy. Hello, Mr. Yekaru. I I don't even know what I'm watching anymore, ladies and gentlemen. This is just a certified enemy have no map control memento. Like straight up. Yep, no map control. Interesting. You watch this Yag pen me from there. Nice. I bounced the HE at least. Okay, there's the 183. I think the Leo and CS should be okay over there. Let's go push up on the Yigaru here. Faster, faster, faster. Basta. Nice. Even got the max roll off. Let's go. Alright. 2.8k damages have been dealt so far. We will continue the pressure forward here, ladies and gentlemen. Fully aim in. Wow. Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> or you should add skill based matchmaking to regular battles. Uh, to luck? They just removed that, and we're enjoying its its lack, its absence. Haven't you seen, like, 
SBM, MJ, we really make a big difference. Like, yeah, 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 look, look, see, like, we got four losing streak in the E4, a couple of losses here and there. I think we ended around 50% at the end. Um, yeah, E3. Hmm. Interesting. I would say overall, kind of took an L. Kind of took a massive L. Now, I need to cool my brain down. And to do that, I'm going to go hop into your medium tank, because that'll be more optimal. Just for a few minutes of relaxation. Um... Uh, what should I take out? You know what's kind of cooking the 62? Let's take the 62 for a spin. 62 doesn't even have the best gun on the match, but dude, like... Ah, this will be so much better. Just play WZ at this point. Mm, actually, you know, that would actually be kind of funny. Let, 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 let's take the WZ for a spin, if I have it equipped, which I do. Yeah. Okay, WZ, higher DPM, way higher mobility. Okay, okay, let it cook. Let it cook. It's much more imaginal for me. What is? Is E3 a nickname? It wants all the damage and bounces. No E50? <laughs> For funsies? For funsies. Yeah. Okay, guys. So, yes, there are scenarios where the WZ is not going to be quite as good as the E3. I admit to that. But overall, you're going to see a massive difference in just how much capability this thing has. Firstly, take a look at that dispersion. Take a look at that dispersion. And take a look at that mobility. Like, holy smokes, this thing's cruising at 38, 40. We're even going up to 42 down this ridge, and it doesn't have any speed boost. It has great traverse speed, and it has great armor, and my meds aren't taking corner. 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 Come on, meds. Come on. Come on, corner. Corner. Also, did I mention that the WZ actually has decent accuracy in comparison? Okay, sure shot AP there. And ricochet! The E3 never would have even gotten into positioning here in time in order to shoot that TVP. Kind of an L that the shell ricocheted, but hey, we, at least we made it here. We got our shot off. We, you know, we're doing our thing. Hello, Comp Panzer. I mean, we're hitting them, right? <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Super bunk. Super, super bunk. All right, and what else is back here? Oh, there's a 183. Hello, 183. Bop. Oh my goodness. You can still play this thing haul down quite well too. It's just faster. It's armor profile low key is more consistent frontally. Um, it's gun is definitely a lot more consistent in my opinion. It's not perfect, but dude, you give it a moment to aim in and it's it's cooking, right? Like this 183 here has already taken a lot of damage here. And honestly, I kind of doubt you can even really pen me here. We even almost hit that and only 200 damage of splash from a tank with 1200 base alpha. So. Cook, cook, cook. Okay. So this conf panzer here getting a little bit aggressive. I'm gonna see if I can cover my ally. Okay, should the conqueror should not have a shot on me. Let's see. Once we clear corner, we're free to push heavy uh, the heavies here, the 183 and everything. And no one really has a shot on me, right? I don't think so. TBP is not making that mistake, is he? All right, this conf panzer about to make an error here. Let's clear him out. Nice. The gun is still cooking on this tank. Very nice, right? 2k damage. The only like disadvantage here is the lack of gun depression, I suppose. Which can be solved if I pull forward a little bit. Oh wow, look at that! We're hitting snapshots too. Alright, so there's a couple of big old TDs behind us. Well, there's one big old TD and one big old heavy behind us, so we gotta start dealing with here soon. I'm gonna focus first and foremost on this conqueror here. Let's aim in nicely for him. Okay, that was kind of bad shooting on my part. And oh boy, yep, yeah, that's gonna hurt. Not too much I can do about that. We can maybe keep the Yag down. Really? The Conqueror has side shots still? Okay, that was kind of an elbowzo play on my part, to be honest. Yeah, that was kind of an L play on my part, to be fair. I should not have taken that shot there. Uh, teammates. Teammates, teammates, teammates. Y'all are not cooking here. Oh, wow, look at that. Insane Traverse Speed coming in clutch here. Let's go. W traverse speed. Our grill's still cooking. The enemy 183 should get cooked as well. VZ, you should just back up safely. I can clear out this 183 here. Oh, yeah. 183 went AFK, didn't he? Pop. Mobility coming in clutch. Very nice. Yag's out of tungsten shells now. Yag is also going for the grill of 15 here. Just shout out to the grill, but the grill is very dead now. All right. There's Mr. E100 there. Let's end this in thoroughly. There we go. Living him on 10 hit points. Nice. Now I gotta play defense here. Somehow. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Give me the shot, give me the shot. 
But come on, you gotta be a silly 100 give me the shot, right? He's gonna be silly and give me the shot, I think. Our VZ is playing really passively here. Okay. Jaeger just fired. I don't know if the Jaeger is proxied me yet. I'm just gonna wait back for the C100 here. Okay, VZ, we should just pull back and get safe here, my dude. I have a I have a suspicion, a sneaky suspicion here that this C100 is actually trying to flank left here. Cause he didn't get spotted poking that corner. Let's see if I'm right or not. If I manage to clear out the 100, my team will have a decent chance at winning this. So I'm actually going to flake around for him. Chad WZTD doing its thing, you know. One high explosive shell here and it's Joe over for him. I just need that WZ to hold there for a little longer, buddy. Or VZ. You can hold there, VZ, right? I have faith in you, laddie. I have faith in you. Unless the 100 is already looking this way. He might have rotated around with them as well. Oh, that was a scam. Oh, that was a big scam. That was an L scam. That was a massive L scam there. Oh, the 100 not even going to poke me, is he? Or he might. No, he tracked me. No. L, L, L. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Okay, angle, 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 angle. Okay, he shot HG, he shot HG, that's W. That is a massive W there. Okay. So I don't I don't think your boy is winning this, guys. Unless, unless, unless I can game on this Yag here. Very nice. We kind of gaming. We kind of gaming. Okay, keep pushing me up on the hill so I can pull forward. There we go. Let me, let me go forward a little bit. Come yeah, on. Very nice. I'm telling you, man. This tank is just built way better. This tank's built way better than the E3. It's built way better. <laughs> locked in <laughs> we locked in oh it's droodles wait where <laughs> where is it the yag oh I, I, are you talking about in chat i didn't see unless he has a new account gonna have been the e100 right uh <laughs> A W W I know W W Z is just built different, man. I'm telling you. Did we ace it? Yeah, heck yeah, we aced it. <laughs> w is just better, dude. It is just better. Like that, seriously, it is better. Like I didn't have a, I I really didn't have a single good game in the E3, and I, I whip out the W Z. Uh, what's your highest damage game of all time? Fatness. I think it was 10.4k damage in a T124. Light work, no reaction. <laughs> <laughs> nice clutch. Thank you. Thank you. Oh man, who who was eleven? The count fencer. Ay ay ay. Yeah. So I think I made my point, guys. I think I think I made my point. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I was like, what? Where? I didn't, I didn't see him. I didn't see him. I was like, uh huh. Um. Yeah. <laughs> He's go hard. I think the WZTD low key is a better choice than the E3 nowadays. Like I, I seriously do. The gun can still troll you a bit, but its aim time is definitely a lot better and it shoots faster. Um, yeah, yeah. WZTD guys, if if you didn't know that that tank's kind of cracked, it it has it's the mobility and armor and DPM and relatively consistent accuracy, and you combine all these factors together, you just have a seriously nasty tank to deal with. Um, but yes, I would still, well, we're going to do our courteous end of the stream game in the, in the good old 1E3. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, bro, this guy. Yeah, I was like, huh? Eh? Yeah, the point was, so, the point was so sharp on calling an ambulance. <laughs> WZ is the meta TD and comp. Yeah, yeah, that's true. 
And you know, back in the day, the meta TDM comp was the E3 and 268. And you know, 268, st st 268 might still be playable, but I don't think so much nowadays because it's not like, it doesn't have like the cracked accuracy and DPM that it used to. Now it's more alpha and mobility, which still has a point, but in comp, not really. I definitely see why the WZ would have a place in comp though. Have you played the E4 recently? Yes, I do plan on streaming it sometime. I was actually going to initially do an E4 versus E3 comparison stream, but Loki, I just don't want to play the E3 anymore after my diabolical experience in it. Sag, we didn't get the early shots on the crossing there. Anyways, let's show them how the 1E3 rolls, my dudes. So our uh, Bashotheon, uh, sorry, we don't have a Bashotheon. Our 140 didn't manage to take the hill, but fortunately, here, buddy, I'll, get, I'll give you plenty of space. Just, um, excuse me, moi. Probably not the, um, probably not the best peak to make there, my dude. Alright, A75, but do this, man. And... Why? 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 Why is this... Why is this M4 over here? That's the real question. I'm gonna have to hold our spawn now. Fortunately for me, this M4 just needs to make one itsy bitsy little mistake in his toast for any's toast. Do we just say screw the mouse and go straight for the M4 here? Do you think the M4 is gonna back up enough to give me a shot here? That's the real question. Yes, he is. Sh shout out to the 140. Very quickly taking a defensive position in our spawn when he noticed the flank falling. That was a good play on his part. This is why I generally speaking say you should not push past and counter cap like this M4 did. It's very easy to get trapped back there and um, cease to exist afterwards. So I think the 140 is fine over there. Let's start dealing with this mouse. All right, 183 kind of cooking so far with a couple of good shots here. That was a bad shot, unfortunately. And so, uh, yeah, that didn't quite go as planned, but I'll take it. And the 140 still has crossfire, so you might be able to clear out the bat chat soon as well. The mouse is actually scared to commit, so I kind of respect it. Well, he already committed, but he's scared to commit further. <laughs> the problem is going to be the 140, or not the 140. Why do I keep calling the, like, mis misnaming the bat chat in 140? If I take one more shot from the mouse, the bat chat can clear me. That's, that's the issue at hand. My team's working good on the front here, so... Come on, come on, Hori. Let's just go at it together, Mr. Hori. Let's go. Let's show them how this is done, Mr. Hori. Yo, I'm telling you, I'll roll around this corner and the mouse is not even going to be looking at me. Oh, come on, gun depression. Oh, come on, gun depression. I guess I can just yellow over. Doink! <laughs> Alright, I'm not getting more damage. Not a bad game. Not a bad game. Good good, good playing by the 140 there, though. Since he went back to his spawn, the count in the M4, I was able to help clear him out, and that basically prevented us from having a lot of pain there. Uh, WZ, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, WZ and Yag are comp tank. Interestingly, chaotically funny. Is the Yag really a comp tank? Is the Yag really a comp tank? Let's do one more in the 183. Oh, we just passed now in 30. We'll have to be quick. Um... Frontline in 1A3. Yes, that's all it. L like, you guys know me. I do not snipe in tank destroyers. I will only snipe in tank destroyers when I believe that there is really no other alternatives. Otherwise, I do like to play them pretty aggressive. There are cases where I'm like, eh, maybe I should sit back a little bit or it'd be beneficial to sit back. A lot of the time, though, I like to send it. I like to be aggro. Like, this game here, it might be more beneficial for me to snipe and cover my meds than it would be for me to go mid and cover heavy side. I'm not 100% sure on that. But considering they have a Kampf Panzer at 140 and a standard B, and we only have, I mean, we have pretty decent meds to counter that. I think I will snipe off the bat and then consider rotating out accordingly. Especially since the 140 ain't a half bad player, right? I think I had shots. I just can't scope in enough when they're not in my reticle fully. Okay. Come on. One of you pull back a little bit. Just a little bit more there, buddy. There we go. Dang, that was unfortunate. It's okay, 30B is still secure. 30B is still secure, as can be. Oh, very nice. I have a decent crossfire from back here. 
No, 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 stay right, stay right there. Stay right there, Sunny Jim. <laughs> Why are they playing so passively? There we go, this dude's dead. Enemy armor is hit. Apparently enemy armor is hit. Apparently enemy armor is hit, guys. Even though I, I, I'm fairly certain I didn't see any indicators that my shot dealt any kind of damage to him. I guess that is uh, the great experience of what blitz, dude. Why am I wasting? This is why I hate sniping, dude. You just sit and wait for the enemy team to make mistakes. And then like in a 1e3, half the time, you're not even going to get to land shots because the accuracy is so diabolical. This is why sniping is genuinely the worst. Gotcha. Wow. My contribution to the team this game, guys. My contribution to the team this game. Meanwhile, I could be hardcore farming heavy side right now. Hard, hardcore farming heavy side. How was that not a hit? What? Speaking of heavy side, they're actually losing this side, so I think I made a mistake even trying to cover med side. What a waste of time. Yeah, I think I just wasted all that time trying to cover the trying to cover the med side to be fair. This is why I will forever despise sniping, dude. What a waste of time. My med still threw a three versus three where they had a tier for tier advantage. Um, and I just wasted all my time while my allies all got themselves yeeted. Like, let's go, that's peak. Hello, Mr. E4. We're you know what? I'm not doing zero. Oh, I did 190. Dude, I hate sniping. Case in point, this is why sniping is the worst thing you can do. Such a waste of time, dude. Not only did my meds throw a three on three where they had a tier advantage, they, um, my heavy tide threw as well. The enemy 30B, our, our allied 30B played well. Oh, yeah, yeah, I hate tank destroyers so much. I only play the 183 because I like nuking people. And that's why I will never snipe in this tank. Ever. I was like, you know what's funny? The only reason I sniped that game is because someone brought up in the chat that I was frontlining. I'm like, oh, there's some scenarios where it can be beneficial to snipe. And I'm like, I guess I'll try this game. We'll see what happens. Waste of time. Absolute waste of time. Maybe if my gun didn't hate me and I'd managed to pick up the kill on the, some of those tanks earlier, we would have been okay. <laughs> yes, the way the contribution of the match is just astronomical, maybe <laughs> spiritually. Dude, it's just I don't I don't see the point. Like, what's the point in sniping in a tank that has some of the most diabolical dispersion in the game? You're never hitting anything. You're shooting at little tanks giving you barely any poking, like any barely poking you, giving you barely any shots at all. And so you're having to like snapshot it. Your shell velocity is trash. Your camel rating is trash anyway, so like. Of course, my team wants to go town. Great. My team wants to go town. This is fantastic. Let's see how my team does in town with double BZs, M60s in the E3. And they have better haul down tanks, actually. So maybe maybe this is not the worst play in the world. But this is why I am very, very avid against sniping. I just feel like it's such a waste of time. And you're just depending completely on your team staying alive and the enemy team making bad, bad moves. You really contribute very little to the game. There are some instances, of course, where that's not the case, but it's basically you're just sitting there and waiting for, hoping that things roll out your way instead of creating your own opportunities to deal damage. Which is far, far more beneficial for your team than sitting back and doing nothing. Interesting. I was not expecting there to be a WZ tank destroyer back there, but hey, there we have it. Alrighty, gun said no you. It is what it is. We'll just back up from that. Alrighty. The enemy team is being pretty aggro in our spawn here. I don't think the WZ really has a shot on me. He shouldn't, at least. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make a bit of a rotation out here. Dang, actually. Oh my goodness. He just got elbowed so hard. Dang! Buddy just got outplayed! Holy smokes, man! I need to wait to see what that Yaga 183 is up to. I don't want to poke this without more information. Dude, 
Dang, dude. If you guys could have seen that shot in the WZ there. I don't know if you saw, but that... <laughs> that... That WZ just experienced... Oh. <laughs> oh, buddy's buddy must be molded. And his young buddy has no hit points either. Oh, yeah. Just keep sitting on that corner. Oh, and he's dead. Oh, my goodness. What is going on over here, guys? Guys, it's not that hard. Why you have to be making it so hard for your guys? Ooh, Amorak. Nice. Okay, the Yags are rotating back now. W. <laughs> Bro woke up and chose violence. Dude, that WZ. That, that shot was just so cracked. I don't know what to say, man. It was just cracked. <laughs> Who need, see, this is what I'm talking about, my dudes. Does random match make him feel better now? Yes. Yes, I would say it does. Um, no, sh <laughs> 183 still alive. I thought our E3 would have killed him by now. How's, how's, how's it going, Hori? Let's, uh, let, let, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's go together, my dude. <laughs> Shout out to the Hori. <laughs> Strange looking E3. Yes, indeed it is. At least this one's fun to play when it hits. Uh, by the way, those were like all AP shells that game. I don't think I had a single head shot. Ori played really well there. Mm, I gotta wanna do one more than 3 This might be a mistake or not. Because I didn't stream yesterday, maybe I'll go just a little longer. You know how it is. <laughs> I started killing, uh... <laughs> Shell Velocity Moment, great YouTube name, man. Man, thank you very much. Do you appreciate it? It is, uh, it is quite an old school name. Uh... I just second lined you, uh, you huge gun and shout to your team. No, <laughs> I'm not going to say that just because I have no clue what it means. By the way, hello, dog. This is the, this is the better E3. You see this, this one is more terrifying to deal with. Okay. Let's see. What do we do this game? Hmm. What does my team want to do is the real question. Their team is highly mobile, which means I will kind of not do very well on the med side. I don't want to completely abandon the med side, but dude, there's like nothing I can do at that end. And sniping back over here kind of sucks because you just get crossfired out from mid. So I'll probably push in towards downside here. I'll be the scout for my team. I'll be the almighty scout. <laughs> what about super rare 114 heavy? 114 or the 114 SP2? Which one are we referring to? The SP or the regular 114? Because that's a, that's a pretty big difference, you know? Alrighty, let's see. Watch their whole team. No, 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 that is the 268. We know the super bunker is back here, but he's rotating out. Yes, 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 indeed. Oh, wait, I got spooted. Did the super bunker spoot me? It must have been the super bunker that spooted me, right? Okay, IS-7. Come on, dude. Are you really just going to sit back here and let the Super Conqueror go there for free? Oh my gosh, IS-7 is actually playing caps. That's actually really bad for me, because that means their whole team is going to yellow back here in a moment. Okay. Yes, Super Conqueror. Yes. Rotate around, rotate around, rotate around. Come on, give me that HE bull back. Oh! 1432. Very satisfied. I am very satisfied with that. Let's go. Nice diversion by the Bashrathion there. SP2 not great, to be honest. HE, uh, HE spot apparently gone. On the E3, yes, it is. And that is a minor improvement compared to everything else that happened to the tank. Which was not so... Which was not so spicy. Ah, what was that shooting? Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go go defend that cap, buddy. Yeah. Go... You 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 get him, King. You you get him. I have faith in you, brother. Nice try, Yak. Oh, he got the reset. He's insane. He's built different. He's built different. He's actually just built different. Okay, so I honestly respect the, the, the 268. He was the only one on his team that actually had the courage to try and reset Cap. I, I genuinely feel bad for him. His team was all sitting in Narnia while he has he was forced to reset Cap. So that was just kind of a an L momento in terms of his team. He kind of baited me though. That was that was a nice little bait, I have to admit. I didn't expect him to yolo in that side. I thought he was gonna yolo straight for me. 
So I did the big oopsie while I was aiming in my shot. Hmm, there's still four players active right now. That Jaeger just spotted me too. And that's Charity. A good old Sheridan. Not that the Sheridan can do much with me here. I can just hold this corner. Although he could back up. He could try backing up. I think he's more likely he's going to back up than anything else. Do I just keep sitting here or am I wasting time? I see the STB's rotating back as well. Apparently the Sheridan does outspot me there. Unless he backed up safely, in which case kudos to him. Oh, this is quite the, uh, this is quite the long game, ain't it? Yo, is there Yag capping now? Hey, yo. The big bad Yag is going for the cap here. Hmm. There's not a whole lot I can do here. Wait. Unless this Jaeger would pull up, I might have a choice. Is he gonna spot me again? Dude, what is that? He's wasting so much time back there. Yeah, not today, buddy. Nice try, but not today. Good shot, yeah. Good shot. Oh, the STB just gave away his position, too. Lovely. Ah, Sheridan went for the reset. Dude, what is this game? Literally everyone just going for caps. Alright, I have faith in my gun here. No, I don't. Actually, I still do, to some extent. Come on. <laughs> this game is such a waste of time, dude. Alright, 600 splash into him. Our bat shot could, if our bat shot could flex back and help clear the STB, we'd actually have a decent chance of winning this. Oh, I could have shot him there. Silly me. I knew he'd still be there, too. I need the help out of Yag here. Dude, this is actually going to be a draw. What a what a drag game. What a drag of a battle. Just how scammed am I going to get this game? Get him, Batchat. Oh, Batchat's on long reload. How scammed? How much how much do you want to get scammed? Yes. That's how much I want to get that's how much I want to get scammed, dude. It's crazy that your dispersion can even do that. What the heck? Dude, that is complete garbage RNG. Like what on earth was that? Anyways, um the Yag is gonna need to die, but if he has tungsten, I'm dead. Only problem is I'm not really sure where the Yag went. There's only a minute left. This is the worst game. Oh my goodness, man. What the heck? That is like... I got to see how low on my reticle that shot went. 40 seconds left. Am I able to get there in time is the real question. I'll need to make this next shot count at all costs, basically. Go, go, go. 19 seconds. Get him, Batchat. Go, go, go. Get him. 19 seconds. 19 seconds. I believe in you, man. I believe in you. Yag, no. Yag, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. 7 seconds. Heschel, I believe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, don't worry, he's having a stressful day. Dude, it clutched up in the end. It clutched up in the end. That's all that mattered. It clutched up in the end. Uh, sweatiest 3.8k game I've ever had in the 183. Now I got to go back and see how far my reticle that shot went down. <laughs> Bad as boss the shot, dude, you're a human. Uh, dude, some shots are just like, should never miss and RNG just decides it wants to hate you. That was one of those moments. Ah, oh, dang it, I missed it, okay.
I, I gotta see how far in my reticle that shot went down. Like, genuinely. I know dispersion means it can land anywhere within the reticle, but still. Still, I gotta investigate, guys. I gotta see how far down that shot was. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta take a peek. I just have to. So I was afraid he's gonna yell a forward and kill our Yag, um, which is why I just sent it. But still, this is after I fired. By the way, this is the post shot dispersion. So that was post shot dispersion. You saw for a millisecond there that basically ninety percent of my reticle was his tank. Bruh. <laughs> I know I could have aimed it, but still, who expects that to miss? Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. That STB was probably like, huh? What a meme. What an absolute meme. My goodness. Was that ghost shell? Looks like it went through the tank model. No, it went under. I saw it go under. That's how I know. The shot went completely under his vehicle there. That's that's why. What if I was just experienced this card? The black hole phenomenon. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> what I experienced was skill issue for not aiming in the shot a millisecond there. Maybe he would have splashed. Dude, it went clean under. Phew, clean under. I don't even know where it landed. <laughs> what a joke. How is our one to one spotted already? That's concerning. Oh, great. So we're having no one spot the mill side. Fantastic. Batch must have gone over there, huh? 777 already crossed the ditch? That was fast. What? The major problem here is that my allies are like nowhere to be found. I'm concerned about the Batch shooting me on the crossing, but I'm going to go and help my med side here. Oh, it must have been the Batch and he cut down through the middle. Go figure. All right, boys. It's time to cook over here, yeah? Let us commence our cookery. I insist we, we, we develop a fine dining meal over here. We're going to start with the Le Bachatillon. No, 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 no. Back up, Batchat. Batchat, why are you pulling for... Not Batchat. Vickers, why are you pulling... What's the Vickers doing? It doesn't even make sense. What, what, wait, wait. what the heck is this man doing here? I don't understand. I don't understand. It makes no sense. Oh! Yikes! Standard HE going in hard there. It's okay, E3. I don't exist. I, I really don't exist. You, you, you don't have to shoot me. Wow, that's just so mean of you, dude. That's so unbelievably rude. I cannot believe your manners right now. Genuinely. Oh my gosh, that's quite hashable. Drive wheel, by the way. Drive wheel, by the way. Remember I was saying that the E3 is the worst drive wheel? Wiggling isn't going to save you, dude. You just aim at the drive wheel. It doesn't matter. It's going to go through the lower plate. It's going to go through the drive wheel. One of the two. The... Okay, so there's a bash off the arm behind us already. Can you spot up their bat chat? I think he's sniping in the back. I don't know where else he would have had shots on me. Also, do my team have any kind of resets here? Maybe our grill would. In an ideal world, our grill would. Well, I could be dead to the bat chat. So I better pull the safety. Dang, I didn't expect the E4 to be yellowing through here. We'll need someone to defend base. I need to wait till I figure out where that bat chat's at first, because that bat chat's the biggest concern. How is our grill full health already? What? Oh my gosh, our grill is a silly willy. Guys, I think it's Jover for us. I think the game is very Jover for us. Of course. So Grill just sits up there, shooting at nothing, by the way. Um, one two one's gonna die now. Goodbye. The bat shot's just wasting time. Hmm. 
<laughs> what, he couldn't even climb a hill. This is so bad. <laughs> Vitali, do you mind? Oh, this dude's good. He's getting toasted. Look, there, there's there's a there's a time and a place for that stuff, my dude. But a, a what blitzstream probably isn't it. Yeah, go go uh, do an outreach or something, you know. Okay, 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 buddy. <laughs> what is going on in chat? Uh, I politely request that we keep any, as as I've said, any political, religious, um, racial talk, any social talk, like out out of the chat, right? Right. This is not the, this is not the time and place for it. No, it don't it don't matter what religion it is. This isn't this is, ain't this ain't, ain't ain't where you're supposed to go preaching about it. As for certain individuals, it might not go down well, and I just like to keep this place a very neutral where everyone can get along. So, do you mind just chilling out? There are plenty of other places where you can do that. And trust me, 300 viewers on a blitz stream are not going to be, um, it's not the best place for it. <laughs> I recommend Bob Bobby too as stream music. Uh, yes. Bro's leading a sermon. Bro's, bro's doing the whole sermon during, during the, uh, during the What Blitz legendary gameplay stream, dude. Look, it's fine if you want to preach and do your stuff, but you know, just just know there's there's a time and a place. There's a time and a place for it. And uh, personally, I don't believe this is that place right now, at least. Ah, skis. Okay, Lewis. Yeah, you just sit there in the back of the map with absolutely, absolutely no one spotting for you, no one covering for you. That, that that's just such a great idea. See how Lewis is feeling now. Ha! It doesn't feel so good now, does it, Lewis? I know Lewis got nuked there. Actually, I might have I might have hit him for no damage, but I know Lewis took a shot there. Whether it was a pen or not is up for consideration, but judging by the blind shots, dude, probably got hit there. Probably. Not a guaranteed. Also, this is like the weirdest game ever. I'm not really sure what's happening here. Hey, yo, wait a minute. Can our yo do like anything? I can't push up here by myself. I see our yo is big chillin'. Our yo's got the big chillin'. Hmm. Oh my goodness, where did that carol come from? That's not good. Dude, what is my team cooking? Well, not cooking, I mean. What are they doing? Bro, I don't even know what's happening anymore in these games, man. Enemy armor yep, he's not feeling good. Oh no, I didn't hit Lewis. That's so that's so sad. That is so sad. Um, we're down 2-0 already. My teammates are, are getting griefed over here. I'm doing my best to cover ship, but the problem is my allies are kind of, um, doing the big silly. You bink. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This is not looking good for my team, ladies and gentlemen. We got ourselves a wild 60 TP pushing up as well. Hmm. We've damaged them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. At least hit a shot, my dude. Mm. Oh, hello, Toxic Eight. Let's be friends, yeah. I did what I could, ladies and gentlemen. I did what. What more could I do over here, my people? I did everything in my power to give my team a chance to win here. But even then, it wasn't enough. One, two, three, four tanks over here. Um, oh well. 
It almost looks like my meds uh, didn't really push up properly there. I don't know. It's hard to say. <laughs> I wish I had at least maxed with the 268. So I got three hash shots out. That's 34, 3,500 damage, maybe 3,600. Um, but yeah, that's not cooking. Okay, let's end it in the classic way. Where's my Leo? Where is my Leo? One game Leo. Just have to play one game with a good gun. And then I shall cease to exist until next stream. <laughs> Let's get to that 200 like mark where we're at it, guys, because there are 300 of you viewing. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, I see, I see, uh, I see that uh, the chat is chilled out a little bit. Thank you. Anyways, that 60 TB hat shot was dirty though. That was very dirty. I'm satisfied. That's why I stopped playing the 183 there. I got my good old, got my good old troll 183 shots in that game. I was satisfied, and then I, I called quits. Um, my teammates though were maybe not cooking so hard, but we'll see. I I don't think they're gonna win that. Even though the 268 is maimed, the 60 TB is half health. Spot the crossing so far. Interesting. No one crossed up. How peculiar is that? that's the case, then they might not have tanks pushing in so aggressively over here, but it looks like they do. Sadly, that's a ricochet. Oh, my poor T124. He was trying to go for the crossing to help his teammates out there, too. Oh, man. Their team is just getting wrecked already. Really? Oh, it's this dude. Okay. Sure, the E4 is just gonna chill there, huh? Not gonna blow up again, is he? Not really the best spot. I kind of low-key wish I'd just gone corner. That would have been better for my tank, but oh well. What is this Vicar's Light doing here? Dude. What's the point in even going to this position anymore nowadays? It has, like, no good crossfires. It doesn't make any sense. Oof, Jaeger just got full health. I almost feel bad for the enemy team. This is such a bad... Uh, why do I go for retracking shots? That wasn't that. That was a uh, unfortunate, unfortunate resolve result for the track for the track shot there. Alrighty, Mister e E4, I get it. I get it. You gotta get your last shot of damage in before you're dead. Oh, 303. I have 360 alpha. Well, you're still dead, bro. This was not even a close game. I I, I need a better battle than this. This game was uh, a certified. Elbozo moment. Okay, now I don't think 303 he is gonna, or 290 he is gonna go through the E3's hatch there. Yeah, you can sell. It's not really gonna go through. So that's good to know, at least. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. He has a damage rack, so I literally will reload him by a eternity there. Lovely stuff. Uh, let's, like, we gotta get a better game than Leo. This one did not cook, dude. Their team got cooked so hard by our team, there was nothing for me to do. <laughs> wow, their team got cooked. Wait, 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 wait. This was not it, Chief. This was not it. I, I totally... I keep forgetting that the Leo has 8 degrees of gun depression and not 9. So, like, that is kind of the unfortunate part about when the Leo got its 8 degree gun depression nerf. Is it used to actually play that position quite comfortably and just be able to hatch snipe everything. Um... But it, it can't... It's not enough. You wouldn't think 1 degree makes that much of a difference, but it, it absolutely does. So, I couldn't really play that position comfortably. I'll remember that for the future. I'll play it slightly differently. But, sometimes I just go to those positions when I'm used to how the Leo's gun depression used to be. Like the shot of the WZ wasn't enough, the 183 is an addiction. Yeah, the 183 is, uh, it's crazy because you miss like 60% of the, uh, 80% of the snapshots you take, but that 20% that you do actually hit is so unbelievably satisfying. Okay, looks like I won't be spotting the crossing here. Mostly because, um, the 62A spotted me up nice and early here. Unfortunately, the WZ is playing a very peculiar position here which may or may not work for my favor, in my favor. Hmm. Their team has to be on hill. They're probably just super slow. That's my, my assumption, at least. 
Come on, allies. You're going to show up anytime soon. Oh, there they are. Dang it. Of course, the moment I move down is the moment that this 4005 starts doing the big silly. There we go. Three just fired as well. Their whole team is just stuck up here, aren't they? Let's track the Conqueror for now. Not really sure what the 405 is doing. Ah, I love my Leo gun. I love it, I love it, I love it. The gun just cooks differently. Pop! People, people, because it aims in so fast, people never are like really prepared for it. Bop. Via Hamzi. Nice one. Nice one, buddy. Bop. Oh, this gun is so good. It's such a nice change after I've been playing TDs for the last like hour and 40 minutes. Oh my goodness. Bop. <laughs> this is the Bop Mobile. Another bop into you, good sir. Lovely. My, my team's losing. My, my, my team is losing. Somehow. Uh, team? Boyo, boyo. Oh, oh heck no. Oh sure, he has enough gun depression to shoot me there. Yeah, I'm really sure he just has enough gun depression to shoot me there. Retract this. Alright, buddy. I hope it was worth it. I really hope it was worth it. Yeah. You silly, silly E3. Just to spite you, one more shot towards your tank. Yeah, there you go. What a silly T123. Absolute clown. Com just, yeah. Oh my goodness, T100 LT's coming up. Oh, no track shot. No. Easy. Anyone? Yeah, there you go. Another clown. Let's go. They just threw away two tanks for a single vehicle. Although they still have a full HP 60 tier. Okay. <laughs> That's why you go for the track shots there. My goodness. How did it take our BZ so long to spot that man's there? I guess let's do the 140. That was not a fun game. The game was going very, very well. And then the team did very, very unwell. <laughs> Nah, Fadis will uh, rage. No, we're Fadis. <laughs> nice, this was fun. Thanks for all the Fadis. You're going to hit the... <laughs> hey, ah. Thank you very much, uh, Gentile. You take care. Two hours already, I guess. Why well, didn't stream yesterday? I was going to, but I actually was feeling really unwell yesterday. So, I guess I don't mind prolonging the stream a little bit to compensate. Although, mind you, all I've had is a little bowl of yogurt today. <laughs> <laughs> Great idea. Ay, ay, ay. What was that? The 140 is also one of my other favorite tier 10 meds, so I don't mind playing this one. I just didn't think the E3 was going to YOLO all the way in and expose himself sideways to a BZ tank destroyer. And my 140 sniping in the back. And my WZ, who was also sniping in the back. Like, huh? In what world is that a good play? But I guess Buddy got super damage greedy. And it costs his full tank. It, it costs his full hit points for a one shot of damage there. Oh, hello. Hmm. So he found their players. Interesting. He's not expecting them all to be yellowing at the town like so, but here they are. Good job, BZ. Or VZ this time, I guess. Not a BZ quite. 140's gun is just so insane, especially once you start getting into a perma track. Once you start perma tracking fools, it's G over for them. All right, nice one, VZ. So my team is quite split up here. That's the only concern that I have at the moment is just how split up they are. Um, but the Chieftain just got wrecked. The Act Tiger is running away. And if our 60 TP pulls up, maybe I'll push up as well. Yo, Chad, 60 TP, go and descend it. I respect it. Alrighty. Quick shot to the Act Tiger here. Whoa there. So TI2 is just gonna sit in the back of Narnia for the whole game. Okay, okay. Let, let's let's not flank or do anything beneficial for your team, TI2. Just, just keep sitting there. Yeah, that that, that a boy. Just 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 keep sitting back in Narnia all game. Yeah, 60 TP clear. Fired once. I'll pick up the kill. 
Nice. Let's try VZ. Not today, buddy. Got a shot. Oh man, I love the 140's gun. I think the 140 may or may not have the best dispersion of the of the tier 10 meds, like on movement. Which is why it feels so darn good. You just basically point and shoot in this tank. Alrighty. It really is just a point and shoot type of gun. Ah, oh, very nice. I had so much fun in this tank yesterday. I hope I can continue having fun in this tank today. Da, 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 da. But I probably should call quits after this battle. Oh, hello. Oh, he's dead to the TD. Psych, no shot for you. <laughs> All right, that was fun. I, I had my fun. I honestly not expecting my team to win that Middleburg game. It was just kind of whack uh, with how my team played it, but that was cool. We had uh, we had some good medium tank games to kind of end it off with. I assume they lost. Yeah, they they big time lost. I did 3.4, so I did my job. Silly, silly E3 there, dude. The bigger problem, though, was our WZ was way over aggro for two shots. Our 140 was kind of sniping the back of the map. Um, looks like our BZ didn't really do all that much either, so... If I didn't have to see, if I didn't have to take on that E3, the one f and the um, 200 LT there, we probably could have won that to be fair. But oh uh, yeah, not too shabby, not too shabby. We did, well, okay, maybe not okay in the 183. We did okay in the meds. <laughs> so, 140 stream soon. I feel like I streamed the 140 not too long ago, no? Did I not? I feel like I streamed it not too long ago. I might hold off on the 140 for a minute. Um, I will stream it next time. I always am happy to play the 140. I have. Yeah, about 4,000 average in its 16 games right now. So, the tank Kirks, I definitely really like it. One of my favorite meds. 140 and Leo are both just extremely fun to play. Uh, but yeah, back to the topic at hand. Uh, D123. Mm, not a fan. I'm gonna be, yeah, keeping it real. Not, not a big fan. It has its mementos where it's fine, but it feels so random and like, oh, am I gonna get a good team here? Is my team going to go to the right positions? Am I going to be on the right map? Is the enemy team going to make the right mistakes? Right. As I demonstrated with tanks like the WZ Tank Destroyer, it's a lot more versatile, right? That one ace game I played in the WZ TD. Um, it, it can move so much faster. Its armor almost feels better, to be fair. Hull down. Its gun is definitely a lot better, in my opinion. It's like, so I prefer tank destroyers where you get to choose your fights a little bit more rather than hoping the enemy team basically pulls up and gives you free shots like uh the 268 is a great example of that love the 268 love the wz tank destroyer the e4 i like quite a bit as well because it has the turret and good mobility so that's another great option you know if e3 is your cup of tea then go ahead and go for it keep playing it but i'm gonna be fair i think at the moment it's not as competitive as it used to be especially with the kind of armor profile definitely feeling like it got nerfed in my opinion so yeah, we'll see. Not sure what I'm going to stream next, but I do have a list of potential streams and I will decide based on how I am feeling. But uh, yeah, thank you very much everyone for dropping by today's stream. Great to have you here as always. Do appreciate the support. Everyone who donated, everyone who smashed that like button and everyone who is interactive in chat and of course the mods too. I will see you on the next stream. So until next time, take care and peace.